and heroes. Wind aid my hand. Spider-Man here. Union to me. Be excused by reach. Take a swing at us. You better hit hard. Cause when we swing back, swing back, oh god. What a game. Avengers! Forever. Next time, I'll try to break a sweat. Oh, snap! in heroes. Wind aid my hand. Spider-Man here. Union to me! Be excused by reach. Take a swing at us. You better hit hard. Cause when we swing back, swing back, oh god. What a game! Avengers! Forever!
Next time, I'll try to break a sweat. Oh, snap! There we go. Right. Yep. We're live. Music's good. The mic is good. The game is there. Got that really massive logo. That is a lot bigger than I thought it was. But hi, it is Sunday. Welcome all. We are doing a very special Sunday stream with the lovely Scientologist who's going to take us through everything Marvel Snap and try and get me from an absolute amateur to, I don't know, a half decent player. Possibly. But yeah, Sai is on the call. Um so she put here Sai whenever it unmutes. <laughs> I was waiting for an introduction, but you know. I was about to and I started choking. But here we go. Here is Scientologist. Marvel Snap Extraordinaire. Oh, it's me. Scientologist. <laughs> or just Ben, you know. You can just call or me ben. ben or Sai, whatever you want. Ben Sai. Oh, yeah. No, I don't mind. <laughs> hey yeah, Els, how's it going, Val? You're a very, very special guest today. Yes, oh, I, was, I was just about to say. Oh, it's going to be that stage where it's normally just um, me in the chat at the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> so there'll be nobody in the chat other than me, but Els is here on time. So. Nice. Right, so yeah, cheers, cheers for that, Els. So, eh. Uh, Hi. But do you want to take us through what Marvel Snap is in? So it's like a card game, but. What oh, I want to take. Um. First of all, I like what you're saying. You're going to get from a beginner to a, what did you say, semi? Just, some, just like, okay. Just yeah, that's what, fine, that's passable. This, so. um, right. Yeah, that's where I am at this this game as well. So nobody stop thinking I'm a professional or something. I'm not even <laughs> infinite yet this season, which is frustrating um, and embarrassing. <laughs> but also, that might mean nothing to anybody right now. Um, what are we going to do? Uh, my... I mean... I just obviously want you to enjoy yourself playing this card game. That's what I hope. I mean, the secret <laughs> thing for me is that I hope that you like this enough that you play it and I've got somebody else to talk to about it. Yeah. Um, other than basically nobody, a couple of people on Twitter. No, we're not Ross. Know, Ross plays it. Popular, but um... started to again, yeah. Rossi was on it and then off of it and he's on it again. So um, what is Marvel Snap? It is... Not like Snap the card game is then you've got to match things, so <laughs> it has got the worst name. The Snap is supposed to refer to the flick of the fingers that Thanos does. Right, so that in this, makes a lot of sense now. Yeah, in this game, the Snap is a mechanic which is basically a betting mechanic, not real money. Um, you have you win infinity cubes in this game. And the the best way to describe it is 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 a bit like poker. Snapping is you're going all in essentially, yeah. Um, and your opponent can then decide to snap back, or they may just retreat because they may look at the board or look at their rubbish hand or whatever, and they might be like, "I've lost this game. Let's play again." Um, the <laughs> game, I guess, though, it's a card game. Um, a bit like your 
Pokemon card game, Magic the Gathering, those sort of things, except a lot smaller decks, only 12 cards. Um, so you usually see most of your deck every game. 12 cards, 6 turns usually. Um, and then the, the unique thing this game has is rather than like attacking each other or killing each other's creatures like you would do in Pokemon cards, it's on about occupying lanes. You have three lanes, you can put up to four cards in. Whoever has the biggest number there, usually, um, wins that lane. Um, and those lanes themselves reveal uh, turns one, two, and three. They have additional special rules. So you're not just playing with your cards, you're playing against the board as well, which could be beneficial, could be annoying. Um, we'll see as the game goes on. And they, and because it's a digital card game, though, it gets to do wild things which you wouldn't really do in a physical card game like hit and flip the numbers on your cards, uh, fill your deck with different things, it, other random stuff that's like quite hard to do in real life because, you know, it would be too easy to cheat <laughs> or you'd have to get like 20 dice out or something. No. Um, I don't know, we're, we're playing, we'll know. I, I guess, what do you know about Marvel Snap? Other than what I just said, because I don't need to have you back. Other than that, that's the... nothing. Like, went through the tutorials, it's, it's basically just... I kind of went over what you said, obviously very quickly. Bye, that's that's pretty much it. And just collecting cards. Yeah. <laughs> I'm assuming you unlock yeah, as you progress. It's hard, it's hard for me to not just describe this game in a way that just sounds like like very <laughs> generic, but it is yeah. one of those things where it's like really easy to play, but really hard to master. One of those things where like the basics are like. I mean, you don't even really need to know how to play. You could just swipe cards onto the screen until you you win or lose. Do you know what I mean? Aye. Um, but uh, there is a very high skill ceiling for it. Yeah. So make... knowing obviously, knowledge is a useful thing, which is something you're equate through more you play. Yeah. Um, like in any game, but I, gu I guess actually <laughs> one of the first things I wanted to ask you was I was thinking the other day because I I know it's like a common mistake some people make though is how how do you win how do you think you win a game of marvel snap this isn't a trick question but yeah um well i'd assume that they've got the like the kind of three kind of areas i suppose in the middle is to control two or more and have like by the end of was it five tons um six tons, have, have, oh six tons um i have the, the kind of biggest power against your opponent for that area and win at least two. That's how you'd win, I think. Yes. Right. So it's okay. That was the thing I wanted to check is that is that you're only having to win two. You don't have to win all three yeah. lanes. Aye. Um, which is should be obvious, but I think some people don't grasp that straight away because they're, they're seeing that they're losing and you'll we'll learn quickly over today that because six turns is not very many turns at all. Yeah. Um, you can quickly like abandon a lane potentially, um, and just be aiming for two. Or you might be doing that in a, you know, in a pretend way. You might be bluffing it. I don't know. But yeah, like, yeah you know, you only have to get two. It's not about getting all three. Obviously, getting all three is is good. that's good. To say, um, but people that play this game a lot, they call it a casserole if you win all three. A, ca a casserole. Be like, all... yeah, because all three <laughs> layers are. <laughs> Uh, oh, 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 one. Yeah, they're all they're all good. All three layers are good. I guess that's the idea. Aye. Um, right. So I need to aim for at least one castle all the day. It's one of those, yeah, there's one of those um, terms that go around, and I don't know where it appeared from, sort of thing. No. Of, like, hard game. Uh, you know, terminology is like I'm like it's probably from Magic the Gathering because it usually. Is. Aye. Um, I do not know whether <laughs> who said casserole first, but it, I've heard lots of people saying it. <laughs> Cool. Well, you know what? Might as well just dive into a match and see how we do. Because we've got a basic, basic deck. Like Yeah, I guess so. Um, uh, actually, yeah. So I guess the other thing is, that's probably a thing is people are probably wondering, like, they probably wonder, like, how will you play this game? Or like, has mm. it, like, literally get the game? Or like, what's the, if it's a mobile game, like how much it's going to try and steal your money, etc. <laughs> um, 
it's a mobile game, so it does have um, in-game purchases and stuff which are mostly over the top. Yeah. Uh, and you get people who, who well and spend hundreds of pounds on this game. I spend more than I'd like on this game because I do pay for the their season passes and the season's only a month. Um, and normally a ten or a time. You get a free one at the beginning though that gives you all your cards and stuff. Yeah. Um, you don't even have to pay for the season pass. You normally get extra stuff for playing anyway. The way the way this game like does collections is there's no booster packs or anything like that. You have a collection level, um, and the more you upgrade your cards, and when I say upgrade, it's only cosmetic in this game. It's not making them better. Um, yeah. Your collection level gets higher, and then the higher that goes, that means you unlock more. Then you unlock more, that means you can upgrade them more, and then the you know this continues on and on and on. So, my small job that I want to get done today, well, I don't know a number I want to get to because I have no idea. But my idea is to be as efficient as we can with that, so that we can get you as many cards as possible because it's more fun that way. Yeah, I exactly. Um, Just the because you need to you finish. Know, you're at collection level one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hope we're a lot higher than that by the end. Aye. Because I think if you've, if I finish Recruit Season Conquest Unlocks, was that right? Oh, aye, there it is. Unlocks when you finish Recruit Season yeah, Pass. Yeah, there's another game mode, but we'll 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 get into that later, I guess. Aye. Uh, and I, I'll go, I, I don't know if you know, so I'll quickly go. I wrote some numbers down because I didn't know the numbers off the top of my head because it's very in the past for me. Yep. But uh, collect the levels. The way the cards are split up into groups, a bit like, I guess, sets of cards in, you know, any other card game when you buy different name boxes or whatever. Mm. Uh, you have collection levels that have, like, Series 1, 2, 3, and there's 4 and 5. Obviously, at the moment, we've only got Series 1 cards, because we're playing from the very beginning. Yeah. Uh, you start unlocking them from collection level 18 all the way to 221, which sounds like a lot, but you will see that you start going up levels quite quickly. Yeah. Um, series two is then when you start unlocking collection level two cards. That's two hundred and twenty-two to uh, to level four hundred and eighty-five, and then series and then series three onwards is four hundred eighty-six plus. Um, you know, to degree of whatever level you are now. I mean, I'm not the highest person at this ever, but my collection level is in the nine thousands as an example. So, yeah, <laughs> those numbers. Are I play quite a lot, obviously, and I've been playing for a year now. But I don't expect us to get to 9,000, but... No, not today. Um, it's interesting to see how far we can get through Series 1, 2, and 3. What I, and what they mean by that is, the way those unlock later, at the moment you'll see that little collection, the recruit season thing, you know what cards you're getting. Yeah. Um, later, um, it'll be like a cache, which has a card in it, and it'll be a card from that series. And the best way to describe that is like, that is like opening a booster pack. It'll be a card... It's semi-random because it's a card that is from the rest of that series, but you don't yeah. start unlocking the next series until you've got them all. Yeah, so it's, uh, like I see where it's like, oh man, I still haven't got fucking the, I don't know, Spider-Man from the, well, I don't know what series it is, I don't even assume series one. Oh, uh, I've got Spider-Man still and I've been playing for ages. It's like, you do eventually unlock them, it just means that it will slightly change up the uh, order you get stuff in, which means, you know, like, I guess the idea is that early on, if you are playing against other people of this level, that you won't have the exactly same deck because obviously, you know, that would be a problem. That would be not the biggest problem, but it'd be quite boring if every game yeah. was exact mirror. Um, I guess the other thing we'll say is, as we play a game, is there's quite a likeness that if we're playing against bots as well. This game does have bots <laughs> no. until you get to the infinite. I think it even has bots at the level I'm at, which is mad. I think there's less, but obviously it does that because it wants people to play games. Because the thing we'll see today is games are quick, so yeah, and it is a mobile game. We should be able to like sit in the loo and play a game. Do you know what I mean? Like, you're supposed to be able to play a game or on the bus, like if you were in a queue for ages <laughs> waiting for a game to happen because it had to give you a real person, then it would take ages. So, no. um, but I don't know, it'll be interesting. We'll have to do little tests to find out if we're playing against bots or not. They're sort of like kind of ways you can tell. And, uh, you know, we'll, as we go. But yeah, as you said, best way is probably just to play. I'll, I'll finish blabbering now. I'll let you ask questions <laughs> to play the game. Cool. Well, let's dive in. I haven't actually said hi to Monica. Uh, no, she's not feeling hi, great. Monica. So just be a uh, a wee a wee luck with the eyes closed. So just listen to your lovely voices. 
Your eyes function like this for every single uh, card that's coming out. Oh, this is interesting. So obviously you chose your name as Mixon thirty six, but you get to choose your picture and you chose Abomination as your picture. That's cool. That's no, that's the best one that was there. Um, am I fast? No, that's me. Um, oops. But this, so you play simultaneously in this game, but obviously it reveals afterwards. Ah, uh, okay. I guess it's, I guess it's worth showing every, telling everybody really quickly what's on the screen. So you've got your card of hand. The left number is how much energy it costs to play the card. That's like your resource for playing stuff. Yeah. On the left side of the screen is how much energy you got. It goes up every turn. So big stuff like Incredible Hulk costs six, whereas little guys like Quicksilver are only one. So you should play one of your one drops somewhere. Uh, just how about there? And there's Rossi. How you good? How's it gone, pal? Whoops. Anton. I'm gonna keep forgetting to do that. <laughs> there we go. On the right is how many cubes are up for grabs. It will go. It will be two by the end because you're both like dropping one in. But if you decide that you think you're doing very well, you can click on that to snap, which will mean it is doubling up. But. And the earlier the snap happens, the bigger it will be at the end. If people snap right towards the end, it can only go up to four. But if you do it near the beginning, that means you might be playing for eight if you both snap. Which is the so next should I? I'm hoping we get some eights. Should I snap um, just now then? Or... Yeah. Yeah. Well, no, no, I don't know. Do you think your hand's really good? I, I, it's a bit early to tell. I uh, don't even know what the third um, area is yet, so I probably wouldn't snap just yet. Aye. Okay. I will put this down then. You in my pocket okay. while we take the dog to the pet shop. Ah, <laughs> you go to the pet shop for though treats or or what? Nice little coat for the winter. Plus one for each pause. Oh yeah, that's what I said, so I said earlier the three uh, locations. They all depend on things that we're doing now as well. So what's quite important to look at is the Mojo World, the one we've got on the right. Mm -hmm. That's whoever has the most in it gets plus one hundred power. Yeah. So, you want to start filling that location up. Uh, I think we'll um, start. So I would suggest yes. playing in there. However, you're, you're interesting now. You've got Jessica Jones, who you don't want to play a card in the same location as her. So I would probably put Punisher in the yeah. world, even though he is crap. But <laughs> <laughs> but then for everyone that's here, oh, okay, Punisher. So we both get plus one. <laughs> Um, 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 so weird playing with these cards. It'd be, um, and I don't want to tell you what to do all the time, but I'm uh, playing a mojo. Yeah, I was thinking putting that stone. That's more yeah. cards. Is this not even? Oh, well, it still has the most cards. Oh, you know what? Yeah, Just but wait. if you have equal, and it's basically a. Uh, you have to imagine it's basically uh, what is a ruins in this game, which is an area with no. Yeah. So if you have equal cards, you still do want more power. So it's nice to have something chunky in there. Oh, interesting. Um. Um. <laughs> so the left location was the vault, which, as it says on turn six, you can't play cards there. So it does a little fun oh. animation thing on turn four. Mind you, I would say at this point, I don't know. Oh, I don't we have Elysium, which means because Elysium would play a Hulk, could go there and just win it. But yeah, I think they have the same thing. So I can't I know where you'd want to play it, but you want to play Hulk somewhere because at five, that seems pretty good. I play that. Take the risk. See what happens. Ah, damn. Hulk would have been fine. Uh, no, you would have tied the location of Hulk over there, so actually. Um, right, this is. Kind of be. I know what I would do. What do you think you should do? What do you think you would do? Anyway, I don't know. What I should do is necessarily right either. But... Um, I would probably put. A... <laughs> 
I would probably put Iron Man down in Mojo World. Because I don't think as many cards it's going to be 12 or more. But that 13 can easily be taken over. But I could double that to 26. Yeah. Is and if they... and you might as well then put Medusa in there as well, just in case they play two little guys. Yeah. Because even if you put Iron Man in there and nothing else, they could put two guys in there and have a hundred odd, and you wouldn't be being that. Yeah. Um. Which they do do. Yeah. I think even if they and the thing we got to think is even if they have similar play. Um. Iron Man because he doubles and you put Abomination in there earlier um, meant that it was always going to be quite a lot. So worked out alright. There we go. There we go. We got a win. Yep. Against a bot, probably. <laughs> Why did it only give you one cube? I'm mm. very confused by that. They didn't retreat, did they? Mm, don't know. Maybe something's very different at the beginning that I don't know. <laughs> I forgot because it's been over a year. Um. Yes, the other thing that's going on that obviously I guess uh, makes us clicking through now is that you have daily missions, that's how you win stuff to be able to upgrade your cards and a lot of them are just do things in the game, so like draw cards, play cards, win matches. Yeah. Um, so we'll be collecting those rewards as we go, we'll be aiming to get them all done quite easily I imagine. Um, and we can unlock cards as well. This is so weird. I gotta say, this is gonna, this is gonna be the hardest thing for me. is being used, getting, trying to get used to. Um, <laughs> just I the fact that we've got like a choice of fourteen cards or whatever to play from or whatever. Because so we haven't even looked at your deck yet, but we will just play some games first. I still think it's probably the best thing to do because there's not going to be nah. much you can change. Well, I guess you just gained a new card, so actually your your pool has dramatically changed because it's like. <laughs> That's like another seven percent extra cards or something. I don't know. <laughs> Mate, so um, can only oh. what? Can you do something for me? Yep. As well as play Hawkeye first, because it's definitely the play. Um, Hi. Is can you emote? Say hello or something on the emote thing. You know the emote, just like click on your uh, little picture. I like him. Don't do that. That's if somebody's doing the same thing as you, then they'll do it. You know, like the Spider-Man meme. <laughs> Go with that then. Uh, it's like the no, okay. I was saying say hello, but you know, ignore my cheers. You just want to see if they had emote back because the bots don't emote. So if they don't, if they don't emote it back, it doesn't mean they're necessarily a bot. But no. Yeah, if they do emote back, it means they're they're not a bot. Um. Yeah, I mean, at this stage of the game, um, and this is the same as like most card games, is you just want to keep to your curve. So if you can play a one and one, a two and two, a three and three, a four and four, etc., yeah. you're probably doing all right. Um, which means that is what I would probably do here. Aye. Well, this proves that I mentioned this to Mick off stream that the Punisher is one of the crap cards in the game. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see that already because it's probably not going to be worth it. Of Sentinel. All right, well, we're out of here. Our hand is better. Oh, yeah, fuck it. Elysium <laughs> again! <laughs> um, I suck uh, easily. I don't have emotion, but nothing else. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so see... as I was trying to talk about before, when it came to the end of your turn, oh, yeah, Jessica Jones, she says three, well, she's a four four normally. Yeah. If you don't play anything in her lane the following turn, then she pops up to a four eight. Yeah, would have been so bad, I was saying... would have been bad earlier because we were gonna play in Mojo World again, but no. this time, yeah, it might be worth leaving one of those two others as a Jessica location for now. I, uh, oh, well, I was thinking, see if if I put Jessica Jones down in Elysium, well, if I put Sentinel down first, then Jessica Jones, but leave that empty. Yeah, that's that, that was still coming to I mate. It's turn three, so you've only got three energy, so you can only play Jessica Jones right now. Oh, oh, unless you want oh. to play more. Aye, uh, right, I put... There, right? there is a time limit. I didn't realise that. There is a time limit. <laughs> I can't believe you actually get out of time. Fuck. <laughs> right, okay. Do this quickly then. Um, yeah, um, quick. You just have to not play super slow. <laughs> yeah. 
Right. Um. Oh, fuck, I don't know. Do you know I'll, I'll go what I was um, going to go with. It's just probably what you want to do. Medusa's good in the middle, remember? She gets the... That's what her on reveal is. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Actually pay attention. Maybe we'll look at the cards in a minute so I don't have to go through the cards in the game and that'll be helpful, maybe. Rocket Recruit! Okay. As you can see, the game nicely shows you off the cards if they're new to you as well. Yeah. You don't have to be like, what the fuck is that every time? Because obviously they don't... <laughs> Yeah, they've just got nice pictures when they're on the board. Um, so we don't want to play in Elysium, because that would yeah. ruin Jessica. So um, we're sticking... If I put this here... Um, actually, I can put Sentinel down and then put Iron Man in the next turn. Yeah. Right. You'll be able to play Iron Man and another Sentinel, or even yeah. not sure if it's somehow better I am in the next turn. Iron Man. And we knew we were losing left anyway, that's fine. Aye. Yeah. Uh, okay, so we're winning right now. Yep. This is where you might want to snap as well. So the other thing is, if you're pressing the advantage like this, this snapping's a weird thing, right? Because um, um oh, how you do you don't get it until you rank ten? Oh, you can't oh. snap until you rank ten. Oh, okay, ignore me. Right. We'll talk about that when we get to rank ten. That's weird. Okay. I didn't realize that was a. Thing. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Um, I guess they just want you to learn the game before learning that mechanic. I. Oops, that guess here. I'd, yeah, I'd play him right and then Oops. um and then um punish him middle, I think. Yeah. Uh because right now Punisher is better than Sentinel power wise. They Aye. could have their own Hulk in the middle, but like if you do that you'll be beating them. I am Iron Man. I think. Maybe we'll see. Three and you'd be on more than that. Yeah, it should be fine. Ah, uh, not good. Easy peasy. Sorted. These, these bots realize, are easy. Yeah, yeah, sometimes snapping it doesn't even come up until rank 10. I didn't realise that was the thing. No. I just thought it was there straight away. But I guess you go, you're basically ranking up every game you play right now, so. I'm just going to talk about doing that later, but okay. Oh, I was going to. Because that, that, that was my one other note for today was about was about that, but we're just a bit. Oh, actually, yeah, we'll definitely get to the collection because opening uh, Bazaar is useful. Aye. We can do better things now. Let's go to your collection a minute before we move on then. Yeah. Uh, it's mm, not Right. Uh, collection. Um, this won't take long to talk through actually because you've only got. <clears throat> Excuse me, there's only 18 cards. It's not exactly like it's going to go mental. <laughs> yeah. Um. So, cards and their rules. At this point in the game, like you've got a lot of what I would call vanilla cards. So they're just cards that have their stats. Yeah. Nothing else. They don't do anything fancy. Um. So they're the easiest to understand because they cost whatever they cost and they have the power of whatever their power is, and that's it. And mm -hmm. in that, in this case, you've got uh, Misty Knight, Hulk, Abomination, Thing, Shocker, Cyclops. So we've already talked about six of your cards there. Yeah. Quicksilver um, is kind of crap, but the service he, he gives you is that like you have you're guaranteed to have something to play on turn one because he always goes into your starting hand. Yeah. As you can see, though, he's kind of crap. He's only a 1-2. He's only as good as Misty Knight, which is like your worst one. If you look at your other one drops, they're all much better. So, uh, so Ant Man, um, you get your, your plus three. What was that? I have three other cards that's plus three. Hawkeyes. Play a card at this location, you get plus three. I think that's it, isn't it for the ones. 
Yeah, well, and then Human Torch has got things as well. But um, so All right. the two things that like the two things that are like the words you'll see on lots of cards are on Ant Man and Hawkeye, which is ongoing and on reveal. Um, so if you look at Hawkeye first, because we've we've played him, yeah, he um on reveal is when you play it, it does something. Hawkeye's one is when you play it. It, as you see on the screen, he puts up that little net, and what it means is if somebody else plays the location that he's in, um, he gains plus three power. So you're basically never going to play him if you don't think you're going to play something afterwards, because otherwise it's just a 1-1. One, one. But yeah. if you are going to play something afterwards, he's a 1-4, so it's quite good. It, it's good because that's really good stats. As you can see, obviously, like that's twice as powerful as Misty Knight. But obviously, the downside of that is like you're telling your opponent you're going to definitely put a card there, which... Honestly, early game doesn't really make much of a difference, but like it could matter late game. Like it could telegraph things. Although you know, it's a card game, you can bluff, so you could be bluffing that you're going to put something there and not bother. Yeah. Um, Ant Man, he has an ongoing. Ongoing is just an effect that, as the word says, it's ongoing. <laughs> it's ongoing. It all the time. Um, with Ant Man, his is if you fill up his lane, so you have three other cards there, he gets bigger, so he becomes a one four if there's more guys in there. Yeah. Um. We also just unlocked Kazar, who's a 4-4. Four, four. Um, and he's an ongoing that helps the one drops and he gives them extra power. So what it might be worth doing now is running a deck with him in it and running yeah. more one drops. Human Torch might be awkward, but because of the way the Twitch drops worked, or in this case it was the um, Midnight Sun's promotion, you got Doctor Strange. So actually Human Torch isn't complete poop in this deck, as it would yeah. be normally. Human Torch doesn't have ongoing or on reveal. His ability is just when he gets moved, he doubles. Yeah. Which, in the decks you want to play him in, when you have a larger collection, you'll have lots of effects that can move him about. Yeah. Right now, we've only got one, and if we get lucky, there might be a location that moves him or gives you a chance to move him. However, Strange is still pretty decent otherwise anyway at this stage in the game, so like, why not play him as well, I'd say. Yeah. Um, right. So yeah, I would play all your one drops and Kazar and yeah, I don't know, figure out the rest from there. Do you know what I mean? Cool. So just take some of it then. Um... Yeah. So I would um like going through them really quickly. Medusa is good, I think. Um, annoying because you have to play in the middle lane to be good, but like she's a two five and she's in the middle lane. That's quite annoying. yeah. Star Lord is not great sentinel was solid two three is like your um i would say like baseline stat for a two cost yeah and obviously the thing that sentinel does is always make sure you have another one so <laughs> at worst you're playing a two three every turn which is like not the worst shock is probably not worth being in the deck anymore um uh -huh. and as much as it pains me to say it, you probably don't want cyclops either because he's just a free four and doesn't do anything <laughs> Iron Man and Hulk at the top seems fine. Yeah, I'll probably take... Nah, I'll take Abomination up. Stick his up in. Oh, actually, and you probably want to take Punisher away as well. Well, actually, I don't know. So, so Punisher, um, going to him, His he's got ongoing as well. Yeah. This one, though, is like a re sort of a reverse of Ant-Man. Of His is like a bonus for when your opponents have got stuff on the other side of the, of the same lane. Yeah. He's plus one power for each. The problem is it's dependent on what your opponent does. You don't get to control that so easily, Aye. obviously. And two is that he only becomes a three six, and as we've already seen, like you've got like two cost guys that become five power. You know, yeah. You don't have to be a great mathematician to realize the ratio there's <laughs> not very good. Um, so uh, yeah, I probably would drop Punisher as well. But like, yeah, I don't know. But yeah, what have we got? Five one drops, Medusa, Jessica Jones is fine. We want. Yeah. I'd probably put yeah. Doctor Strange in there. I'd probably drop. I'd probably drop Thing and put Strange. Yeah. In. At worst, he's a. I mean, we may end up dropping it. At, I was gonna say at worst he's a free free. No, at worst he's a free free that moves something you didn't really want him to move. But obviously, again, yeah. you're the one playing the card, you get to decide that. However, though, like early on, you might end up getting a chance to actually move that Human Torch and make it a one four. Which, however mad that sounds to me. It, at the like the cards that I'm playing with, that's probably really good right now. <laughs> I imagine. <laughs> uh, I. <laughs> like, 
and and you know what why not it's a cool looking card you got the thing um no. upgrading cards this is what i was going to say so i managed to do this off stream um click on one of your cards a minute where it shows the upgrade like you just right click or whatever it is i don't know what it is on the phone on the um thing uh, on no in the uh, collection not in the deck oh in collection it on the collection side of the screen <laughs> Oh my god! Yeah, so you, you just got yeah, yeah. So on the right side of the screen, yeah. Click on one of the cards. Oh, it doesn't actually come up yet. Yeah, no, it does. Click on the um little square thing on the right there of it. You know, next to remove from deck. So this is like it allows you to upgrade. You can keep upgrading as long as you've got um. What is it called? Just credits, I think, is what the blue things are. We've got like so I. The thing that's going to be more annoying to get is uh, the other thing, which is boosters, which is a stupid name to call them because in card games, normally boosters are acts of cards. But <laughs> all boosters in this. Um, the thing I was going to say is that the most efficient way to get up your collection level, and it's probably very important for us right now, is this first one going from the grey border to the green border, which gives you the, the frame break, right? Yeah. It only costs five. Later on, they're increments of ten, essentially. Right. Okay. Um, so it's a lot of saving then. It's costing you half as many. So, what we want to do to get up the collection level as fast as we can today is um, upgrade all our grey cards to green, which means that at some point we might want to swap some cards, even if they're not necessarily good cards in, just so that we get a chance to win boosters with them. Because you only win boosters with them if you play with them. Right. Because the idea is that it allows you to upgrade the cards you're playing with. You win random boosters from like the. Um, the battle pass tracks and stuff like that but in general yeah. the boosters you gain are from playing games that's what that came up at the end of the game earlier when you upgraded medusa or whatever it was yeah um so we want to do that because then like it gives us more of a chance to get up the collection track and get more cards which means the deck will be better um mm -hmm. and more fun because you get to play with different things yeah um yeah so i guess we'll just play some more games now Yep. We need to get to a level where we can actually snap. Talking about snapping Aye. earlier, we can't even do it. We can't even do half oh. the name of the game. Well, nearly there. Nearly halfway. Just level 10 on top. Yeah, no, like no time. Yeah, we've done no time, really. Right. Just start there, I guess. <laughs> Right. Um, right actually. Yeah. Uh, if you play, so if you play him middle. Yeah. Some thing. Right now, obviously you could draw something, but right now it's most likely next time we're gonna play Doctor Strange. Yeah. Um. Oh no, I don't know which order it will trigger in. Oh no, it won't pull anything. Oh, uh, maybe it's not as good as I thought it would be, but it'll be fine anyway. I was going to say it'd pull Quicksilver, but it won't because it's Nid Valir in the middle, so... Yeah. I'm not being you! <laughs> <laughs> That's alright, we've, we've got a powerful new card there, it's fine. Yeah, yeah. So it's going to have to be strange, isn't it? Um, yeah. Stick that middle in, I'm guessing. Yeah, unless you yeah. want to move, but I don't think you do. Nah, just keep it in the middle. There's one of these funny things at this point um, where it might seem really boring when you only have one choice what to play. But sometimes that's quite good. Um, because <laughs> if you're if you're having that every turn, that means your deck's sort of playing itself. And like if you've done a good job making your deck. But... Yeah. Um, we definitely want to play Kazar because he's in this deck we've built <laughs> we've got um, five one drops so he gives almost half your deck plus one power i'm sort of stuck um, in there maybe but i don't know if you're gonna end up wanting to put the hulk there oh yeah I'll stick, um I'll st I need to put back in hand uh stick it there It's actually quite funny because I was going to say about Hawkeye's downside. 
is actually sort of reflected in this very small collection we have because the Guardians of the Galaxy characters, they all have that similar ability of if your opponent plays a card in the same lane you just played them in, then they yeah. get bigger. So you see Star Lord just did it. Um, earlier we played against uh, Rocket Raccoon, he has the same thing. Rocket Raccoon's just smaller. So, you know, and they're all like that though, all the way up to Gamora, who is the uh, strongest of them. Um, probably not actually that's fast. Aye, I'm gonna do that there. Yeah. Try and try and secure that one. Okay. I am Iron Copy Man. you. No, oh, no. <laughs> Um, we just probably want to stick to the plan of putting Hulk on the right. Nobody's played anything there at this stage. I don't think any. I don't think they're gonna have anything that's bigger than the Hulk right now. Uh, Hulk. Um, <laughs> the only risk would have been there is if they decided to play Hulk left, we would have lost. Yeah. Oops, lucky they didn't. <laughs> True indeed. We might as well upgrade. if these come up, we might as well upgrade them from grey to green. If if they're coming up and they're already green, yeah. However cool it is to upgrade cards further to make them look nicer, I've, at this stage I don't think it's worth it. Do we? We can look at what the effects look like later. Yeah. Have a little look <laughs> in the shop or whatever. Cause it's got a little thing where you can preview them. Oops. Right. I know you're like making accidents on this game. It's just like you literally click things. I know. Oh, different background. Yeah, let's go. Right, let's go. <laughs> yep, halfway there, and then we so, can uh, get our. The other thing you can check if you go to your collection quickly. Oh yeah, yep. do that. Go to your collection quickly. Um, so yeah, your, your deck. It ha you can change the name of your deck, and you can also change the card back on your deck. So, you know, if you click where it says deck one, you could write something, and on the card backs, you could pick what ones you like as well. So, you just un. Uh, yeah, I guess that's the one you just unlock. No. But yeah, you could change the name as well. So, if you just wanted to call it something, then you could call it something. <laughs> Whatever you want. Nobody can just... do that, though, other than yourself. But... No, I was just looking at that and I was like, I'll just keep it as deck. Because I can't think of another name. <laughs> deck. Deck <laughs> one. Deck one. No. It's, a, it's an original name. I'll, I'll give you that. <laughs> Um, Savage Island is interesting because uh, it's going to be good for us two ways. One is, Kazar, he helps with one drops. He comes from Savage Land. As you can see, he would help the little dinosaurs over there. Um, yeah. Also, I would play Ant-Man there because it only you only have to play one other card to get Ant-Man's ability off, but we can wait until later or whatever to play the other one drop. But yeah, I'd play Ant-Man, I think. Yeah. I wouldn't play Hawkeye there because the problem with playing Hawkeye there would be that you have to... You don't have to, but to get Hawker's ability off, you'd have to play something else. And then you've already told them that I filled this lane now, I can't put anything else in there. Yeah. See what I mean? So Whereas now I would play him in Muir Island because it's a good location. Aye. Your guys get bigger the longer they're there. And if stick this one done. You will play something and you will play something else there probably next turn. So yeah, I might as well play himself as well. I no. mean there's probably a very small argument to be made that like you could save Quicksilver to make sure that you trigger Hawkeye next turn, but I'd hope the two other one drops us and two drops, so I don't know. Yeah. The three drops just like it'd be alright. And Mirror Island sort of is like um Ah, see you get the situation came up. Mirror Island's oh. the one where you, it's it's better to fill it quicker as well, in some ways, because obviously you get more benefit from it. Yeah. Um, you've got a pass. Yeah, can't do anything. Just fine. Love that. Nightcrawler. Cool. Crawler's cool. Um. Hmm. I should probably put this in the middle. So I keep the right one. Clear. 
Why do you want to keep the right one clear? Because if I put Jessica Jones in the right down and I get a better card, I can't put anything down there if I want the boost. Whereas if I put this in the middle... Actually, no, I should put it in the first one then. Because then I can't put anything in that, one, that area. It's not really going to matter. Um, I'd probably put a mid. I think you I'll... probably want Iron Man to go left in a bit. I don't know, it's hard. It's quite hard at this point. It's the hardest thing for me still is that like Like knowing like what they might even have. <laughs> this uh -huh. stage. Um it's taking me, you could, I... you, actually you could play so you could play Iron Man left. Yeah. Um, and then that would give you uh, 12. And then they could play something big there and beat you. But what you could also do is play Human Torch there and then Strange on the right. So Human Torch on the left. Yeah. Which is, that's the birthday promotion one that you've got there. And <laughs> Doctor Strange on the right. Oh no, he won't pull Human Torch there, he'll pull something else. I can see what happens. I don't actually think this is necessarily a good idea now. I just shouldn't have. You shouldn't have. You shouldn't have, you shouldn't have just done it. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Thankfully, they decided to just play Cyclops there, so you're tying on the. Uh... Right, cause I was always going to lose a middle one anyway. So. Um. Well, not necessarily. Because mm. now. Well. If you play. I don't know what we have to play. If you play Iron Man there, it's going to be 26 at the end of the turn, so they only have to play anything. Oh no, they'll be on 27 at the end of the turn, so that's not good. Yeah. No, actually, no, wait, will it? It'll be, it'll be on 28. Because everybody will get plus one and then doubled. Yeah. So there's a moment it's 11. It would actually be 14 and then doubled. So that's okay, I guess. I just worry about where they play Hulk. Wherever they play, if they have Hulk, wherever they play, they win basically. Aye. No. Then if you play Hulk in the middle, you don't beat it anyway. So yeah. I don't what the best player is? This is... <laughs> we'll see what happens. <laughs> see what happens when when you're tied on locations, and then we get to very briefly tell you how that works. I am. Oh no, that Iron Man as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This is not bad, actually, at all. Or is it? No, it is really bad, actually. Yeah. So you lost. So when, um, I don't know if it's already told you this, but I guess this is just for anybody's watching as well. It's the people that win the most locations win. You've both got one location there. So the way it's then decided on tiebreakers, whoever has the, like, most power difference. Yeah. They were, like, what, 56 to something. and So they were winning, like, by 30 of there. And you were only winning by some on the left. That's a good um, one. Mr. Fantastic's pretty good. Yeah, he's pretty solid. Um, you can play him anywhere. Obviously, he's better if you play him in the middle. Yeah. I'd put him in the deck as well, for sure. I imagine a lot of the time we get cards, we're going to add them. At the beginning, anyway. Um, yeah, maybe the Doctor Strange thing isn't good. But then, I don't know. It's not bad either. What's the other... Sorry, I've got I've got the Twitch chat in the way of... Uh... <laughs> Sorry. Uh, um, I don't know where I put. Them. I don't know why I drop. Mm. Up to you, really. But like, maybe either just drop Strange or drop one of the. I don't know. No. Up to you. Mm. <laughs> He's good though. I'll drop Strange for now. Well, it works with what we're saying as well about making sure to get green frames on everybody, so... No. So yeah, uh, Mr. Fantastic, he gets plus two to adjacent location, so obviously he's better if you play him in the middle, because then he is giving six power out, essentially. Which is not bad. Um, um, I could probably go Hawkeye here. He's going to get plus five and I'm going to get... Like extra every time we play something. 
What's interesting is I believe early in the game as well, what they do to make it less of a like a head fuck for new players is I don't think you have like I don't think you have anywhere near all the locations on rotation, if that makes any sense. Yeah. And that's the reason you'll probably recognise a lot of these already. But that's kind of the idea, I guess, is it's trying to like you know. <laughs> it's trying to let you know. No. Might as well drop both. I need for Lear. Both of the one drops. No. Um, so that you can learn them because obviously that's the thing with this game unlike uh, most card games it's like you need to learn the cards obviously you need to learn the locations in this as well yeah um, because especially later on when you're playing um, when it, you know the, 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 the pool of cards is bigger and you're playing against like dramatically different decks um, some locations are going to be like really good for you and some locations you're gonna absolutely hate when you see them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, and that would obviously then depend. That would obviously change, you know, whether or not you decide you want to retreat or snap, etc. You know. Um, also, even just little things about like where you would want to play uh, your cards, because like right, like as the turns go on, obviously, like the locations are being revealed. And it's scary to put something in the location when you don't know what it is yet, because obviously it could be something bad. Um, hey. But according nice. to, but some cards like they might care less about that. So like, say like Nightcrawler because he can move. He doesn't care so much if you put. You, he's like not so bad to put in like the right location. Then even if like turn three, it turns out that like that location is one that's really bad for it. It can just move out of the way. Yeah. Um. But again, like I say, like you know, you need to learn those locations to know. Like, is is there any ones that are going to screw me over, or or, or not? <sighs> Pretty sure we've got left, unless they like go mad in there. So, your best bet is to probably <sighs> stick man down somewhere and then stick Hulk down in the same place next turn. Do you know yeah. I mean? So I was saying, if I put that in the middle. I'd probably go. And I'd probably go middle, yeah, because yeah. as it says, like um, Baxter building is about whoever's got the biggest guy there, and I think at this point in the game, the biggest guy will always be Hulk. Yeah. It doesn't give everybody a boost, so it just gives the, the biggest card. Yeah, so this one's going to be another win, I think. I, I, I don't know what they could possibly play at this point in the game that could beat you, but... <laughs> <laughs> going to find out. Let's see. Oh no, no, it's Baxter. Sorry, I was saying about the wrong thing anyway. Baxter, and that's the one that gives you plus three to all the others. So yeah. yeah, it's even more reason about it. I was thinking it was oh, God, this showed me to be stupid though, I can't remember what it's called. <laughs> the location that gives the biggest card in the location plus three. I thought it was that. You had that earlier. As well. <laughs> I should just read the screen. Read the cards as um we would always say when a uh, playing card game. Oh, I need to get six. Spectrum, the the newly upgraded Spectrum. Um, I would also say so. Um, yeah, make sure you click that little thing that's pulsing. As well. There's more stuff. I would because we don't. So gold. Nice. So with gold, the most the most efficient way to use gold would actually be to save it until you get a lot, and then buy like bundles in the store that give you loads of stuff. Yeah. However, saving for that is like then going to be like thousands of gold or whatever. I uh, like. It's a bit frozen. Oh no! Wait, that's sure. Oh, this is just. Oh, I lost. Uh, it. Okay. Uh, I was uh, speaking. I was. I was looking at the shop now. Uh, Do you hear me though? I, I lost you for a second. Um, yeah, no, I can see yeah, anything. You, as you can, see, they they need like thousands of gold. So the best bet right now, or the most efficient way to use it is um, when you're on that. Um, if you go back to your um, mission tracker thing. Oh, that's not one. Um, is to refill your daily missions so you get more because um, so spend 120 gold to get two more missions because those two more missions will eventually be another 150 energy or oh, whatever not energy sorry 
credits. Yeah. And some stuff to your uh, to your um, season pass thing as well. Okay. So you, well you, that's... So, just as a quick thing, so if you go back to the shop, so look at so if you look at this right now quickly, that was like 120 gold is 150 um, credits, right? Yeah. That's the way that sort of works out. Um, and that is sort of the, the way it's always going to work out. Yeah. Oh yeah, you've got a fast upgrade as well, which you might end up using later as well, which... Well, the way this works is you end up never using it later on in the game, <laughs> but you might use it now. Is is you it it pay, you basically pay a bit more in um, credits. Yeah. You don't have to have the boosters. Um, which like if we get to a stage where all of the cards are green bar like one and we really want, don't want to use it, if it's in this fast upgrade bit, it might be worth doing just to you know because it still makes your yeah. track go up. It just doesn't it doesn't mean you have to have the boosters, thankfully. Um, but yeah, I just I think about basically. Oh, the other thing, actually, you might as well. Um, you also actually might as well. If, if you go back to your uh, mission screen thing, you've, got, yep. you've actually got a fair amount of gold. I think I want to use Spectrum yet, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's worth. Um, if you, right. if you, um, oh yeah, that's something. Yeah, if you go up, sorry, you can have up to six missions as well. So I'd actually just spend all your gold, so you've got four more missions. They've got a hold to confirm thing because otherwise you don't accidentally do it. Do you know what I mean? Because it'd be annoying because no. they can cost real money. So, <laughs> um, and also if we get all six of these done, which you should do quite easily, um, yeah, you'll be up to ten on the uh, on the weekly challenge thing, which is not so bad. That's pretty good. Um, and not each. And on, if you look at, if you click on that number ten thing with the lock on it, it, it tells you how much you get. So you'll get another two hundred credits and another 50, 15 gold. Fuck all, but um, no. and another two hundred on the Caesar pass. So we're we're progressing. We're progressing. We do that. So yeah, uh, we're going to get yeah, a thousand. We haven't been we haven't been trying to get these. We've just been playing. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh. Wrong one. Our new pitcher is Ant Man. Yep. Right. Yeah, it's the Ant Man. Hmm. So I should probably be Hawkeye in that first one. If I reveal her twice, then that would be plus six. One turn. Well, yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. I think they've given. I think they've given us camouflage to, uh, like mock us so that we didn't put the, the spectrum in our deck because it would be good for spectrum as well. <laughs> no, they're copying yet. Yeah. yeah. Two sentinels into your hand as well, just nice as just more choices. You do have uh, a maximum hand size in this game of seven, so like, um, it's fine doing it now because you'll go to five, uh, won't you? Um, that'd be fine. But like, it, it's obviously something to keep maybe track of later. I don't know if it's going to come up, but it does come up. Yeah. Like, because if you have seven cards, you won't draw a card, and if you're if you're wanting to draw something <laughs> specific, then you can't because you stopped yourself doing it. But like, right now, you're going to go up to five cards, so you'll be fine. No, uh, should be good. They also didn't play anything on the Hawkeye, so this feels like we've we've already won this without really doing <laughs> Um Yeah, I just play Hantman and uh, Hantman? Ant Man Ant-Man. and another Sentinel. Aye. Ant-Man. Um oh, it's not really gonna matter, is it? Thanks. Mm. Oh, um yeah. No, I don't think so, yeah, I don't think it really matters. I just probably wouldn't play them both in the same place yet. Yeah. Because again, like you feel somewhere and then you find out they can easily beat you there then you've wasted lots of turns do you know what I mean mm. oh, that's fine it's captain america that's what Mm. <clears throat> um, I think 
All the best from Jessica like, Jones here. This is on reveal as well, right? Say that again? Yeah, I'd play her on the left. No. She's on reveal, isn't she? Yeah. I'd put her on the left. She's going yep. to become an 8. Like, it's pretty good. But if it happens twice, should that not bump up again? Yeah, she'll, so she'll be 12 in the end, so she'll be as big as the Hulk. Yeah. So, there's not much they're going to be able to do to be able to beat you on the left at all now. I mean, if it's a person, or at least if the AI is being smart, it's probably a band of the left now as well. Um. Hmm. You probably still just want to play Iron Man, and then then you've got options open. Because you either like draw something big, or you can just play loads of little guys next turn in the spaces you want to. Yeah. Everybody, I'm man on the right, yeah. Yeah. Aye. Because if I get Hulk, I can always stick it down there. Exactly, yeah. And this is where, like, the filling comes up, right? Because it's like, we can look at this and be like, okay, they've got 17 in the middle. Can we beat that? And the answer is probably no, right? Even if we do, yeah. Kazar and Sentinel in there. That would give us seven plus the two more on the Raptors, an extra nine. We'd only get to eleven, so we aren't going to do that. So we might as well yeah. play Kazar or Sentinel, our biggest stuff, and play them on the uh, on the right side and win the game. I don't think there's anything they can do about it. No, I hope not. Anyway, <laughs> I don't think there's anything they can do about this stage of the game. You see that uh, we're helping Monica relax, which is nice. <laughs> Ah, come on, good. Thanks, thanks, Monica. <laughs> I don't know if be putting, I don't know if being put to sleep by voice is a, <laughs> a compliment or like, not. But I, I take it as a compliment. It's like I take it as lovely. I take lovely voice as a compliment all day, obviously. But <laughs> no, it's like that. But that much of calm and kind of safe voices. Just feel like you can proper relax. Yeah, That's I a good thing. I'm, I'm sorry to everybody that really just wants the Glaswegian accent and they're getting my <laughs> English accent instead. But it's not wrong with a bit of an idea, so. I'm sorry, it's the world we live in. English people do exist. <laughs> <laughs> um, is that that one? Let's just, just keep going. Just keep playing. Let's go. We're almost there. Three more games, I reckon, and then we've done it. Oh, we lose. Aye. Oh, bye. <laughs> I just want to fill um, up the kill one because you quickly. can't play that after turn four, so it is a good one to play in because later you don't get the choice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> <my> <laughs> He's upsetting to me as it is to you. <laughs> Oof. Medusa in the middle. Yeah. This is perfect for Medusa. Her ability is on reveal and it goes off only if she's in the middle and that gives it to her twice. So this is quite tasty. Oh, they got it's it as well. On. <laughs> uh, eight, okay. that's, a very, that's a very good card. If there was a 2 8, that would be in most decks. Not bad. Um, um probably Thanks. you can on the left. No. So sort of setting to chain bulk up as much as possible. Yeah, then the after next the next turn. turn you to play in there. And you might as well put Jess in there the next turn probably. Uh that's what I was thinking. Upsetting, no, oh, shocking, still no. Because, <laughs> um, so if we stop for two seconds, if we think about it, it's like if they what's the biggest thing they can put left? And the answer is probably Jessica Jones, right? Yeah, so they can get to 10. Um, so there is an argument that you could just put Ant Man over there and play, um, Sentinel in the middle to tie them up in the middle, and then you'll yeah. still be winning the left because. 
Ant-Man will get to four, which puts you on 11. They can't be that, unless there is something they've got this bigger. I don't think there's anything bigger than a four or eight. No. It's probably actually better to do that. Aye. You don't need to be... You know, it doesn't matter if it's a minute or a mile, as I say, in Fast and Furious. You know, you've only got to be winning by <laughs> one. So. Exactly. You don't need the biggest number there. Obviously, it does matter for tie breaks, as I say later, but we're hoping just not to be in a position where there is tie breaks. We just want to win. Ah, I did go. Oh, that's bad for us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's less bad for us. Hmm. <laughs> this is interesting. Right. I I think we just abandon middle and just go all on right now. I think. Yeah. Personally. I mean, it's just Iron Man and Hulk later. I think. No, right. just stick Iron Man the right then. Yeah, I feel like the only way they're going to beat you doing that now is if they do the same, basically. And then Rocket will be the, the difference there. I mean, it's hard because I don't, I don't know what cards they have at this stage. It's very hard to imagine. You just got to imagine they've got the same cards as you, basically, at this stage. Yeah. Well, that's good. That's fine. Well, we were definitely never going to win a middle then. No. <laughs> Because even if you had a Hulk and Iron Man in the middle as plus 24, you'd be on 35, that'd be less. But Hulk here means we've won this. There's no way, even if they play their own Hulk now. Yeah. Because Rocket doesn't do it, does it? Novel Hulk. No, his was mm. a non reveal. So, like I said, his is a, a famous Star Lord. So, the, the Guardians of the Galaxy, so Rocket, Star Lord, Drax, Brute, and Gamora, they all have that ability. It's just that they're. Um, each bigger than the other, if that makes any sense. Yeah. Rocket's a little one, then it's Star Lord, then it's Groot, then it's Drax, then it's Gamora. And they're all like one something, two something, three something, and they get bigger if somebody plays something the opposite side of them, so. Well, uh, um, he should definitely go in deck because he's a one drop and we've got yeah. these are, and it's probably a good way to get rid of one of the one drops that is less good. So either I probably just Misty Knight actually. Uh, I was say, possibly Human Torch, but Human Torch's ability there is a very small chance it could go off, and there's no downside to it. Yeah. Misty Knight doesn't have anything to go off because <laughs> <laughs> there are locations that move your cards. I don't know if we'll see any yet because I don't know what they are in the the pool of locations that come up when you're playing right now. But yeah. I could sit here and tell you like all the locations that move cards, but that'd be really boring and also we may never see them. <laughs> Aye. Oh here we go, this is mm. good though. This is double good. This 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 game that this definitely is designed for this to happen. I would play Nightcrawler anywhere bar left, because as you can yeah. see, if he moves there, it'll get bigger. And this goes back to what I was saying earlier as well. If we play him on the right, for example, we don't know what's gonna be there. Yeah. Um, but even if it turns out to be crap, we're just going to move them away anyway, most likely. Yeah. Um, the other reason it's good to play on the right is then um, your opponent will similarly like... It's not always, but a lot of the time might want to play there too because they don't want to be losing that location. Yeah. But you've got the safety of being able to bugger off where they don't. Um, um... Okay, like before... So... Like before, the mid is going to be important again because it's giving plus three to the other locations. Yeah. So, yeah, you want to start stacking up there with with whatever, I guess. Well, I'll stick a same the one. No. Oh, I should have moved. Nightcrawler, shouldn't I? Oh. No, you don't need to do it straight away. Just, he only gets to move once, so just, just make sure you do it before turn six ends. Monster. Is is giving you my, it, this hundred percent must have given us Kunlun because you just unlocked Nightcrawler. So I think <laughs> we haven't seen Kunlun yet, have we? Thanks, so no. Other two locations. No, yeah, so it must be said to that. It's interesting to seeing this from the perspective of like playing it after one so. Yeah, Mr. Fantastic is always good in the middle. We want to play middle. Yeah. It's gonna be playing itself a little bit this game right now, which I don't know if that's super exciting, but <laughs> you'll be winning. That's, that's, that's amazing. Nice. Winning's nice. Ooh, Angela. The recently nerfed. <laughs> <Angela. laughs> 
this is secretly quite good because they are probably going to play left now to get Hawkeye off which means we're going to know what they have in left and you'll probably be able to beat it with something like that uh, for the moment I would just probably keep in the middle still and you want to play KSR we've yeah. kind of built our deck around him because you've only got one guy who's getting the benefit from him now but you've got two more guys in hand that can get benefits from him Right. Left. That's weird. Um. Don't know if it's, mm. I don't know if it's worth putting Sentinel Atman and Quicksilver here on the left. <laughs> You're saying here. I can't see your point. I know. I, that's, that's, that's what I said. I said left. <laughs> Um, um, yeah, maybe. I've I've just... Yeah, you've got that's the thing, isn't it? Your choice is kind of like fill out with some little guys somewhere, or just get Iron Man down and sort of set that you're going to try and win that location. But <laughs> yeah, I don't know. If we intend to move Nightcrawler, then uh, it's up to you, really. Uh, no, that's I'm just running out of time. Um, let's see what happens. <laughs> I don't think there's a particularly wrong play if that makes you feel any better. Yeah. <laughs> The only thing I'm trying to like keep aware of is like the middle is important. That's like is that not the first time you've seen Spider Woman then? Because it didn't do the first time you've seen her thing. Well, it would have been. Um, oh, I must have been on the training ones. Um. Um. So, if you move Nightcrawler, he's gonna get plus two. Ant Man's gonna get plus. Four, so that's plus yeah. six and plus a three already. So it's nineteen, but they could play Hulk there. So I would play Hulk in the middle to make sure that you win the middle. Yeah, and we're probably right. You currently got like plus two over them on the right hand side, and then you'll have hopefully plus three on them as well on the right hand side anyway. Yeah, they play nothing on Monster Island. You'll be winning that too. Could be a casserole. And if not, it's probably just a win. Yeah, there you go. It's not a cash win, yeah. but it is a win. <laughs> Win's a win. Victory. Cool, level 9. Oh. So closed. As I said about those missions, we like, we've like we already got to the thing where you've got to hit level 10 on the uh, weekly thing. It's not too bad. Oh, a week to do that track, and you're two fifths away through it. I know. <laughs> uh, we should begin that one. Cool. Um, I don't know, looking else that or not. Right. Uh, I don't think so. So ho hopefully, after this one, we'll be able to do the snap thing. The snap thing. No. <laughs> Girl is going up. That's not bad. Um, did you just go out of the window then to click on something else? No, because oh, I keep getting the like the left call sound as well every so often. Hmm. No, I'm stuck here. <laughs> okay, uh, it, just, it was going jokey for a bit then, and then it went and uh. And then did the cool left thing, so. I feel like if we see Kazar, we're gonna like. That's gonna be. Our percentage of chance of winning is like way higher, basically. <laughs> Aye. Um. I suppose I'll just put them there. Um. Yeah, and you're probably going to play Fantastic Middle next, like... Yeah. Oh, God, yeah, <laughs> then you'll play Jess on the right. This, 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 like, the lo because of the location, it's kind of playing itself a little bit here. Yeah, we bet. Let's put... Possibly put keys on the middle. Hmm, maybe. Well, 
So, what I would, what's worth thinking about now is, so we don't know what turn six we're going to draw, but if we imagine we don't draw anything, yeah, we could play a five drop now, then a four and a two next turn. So, um, yeah, you you basically want to play Iron Man. Maybe maybe even play him left because the Kazar could still be a surprise. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, just don't play them right. <laughs> no. So I think we can double that. Yeah. Oh, six. And then in the middle, it'll get bumped up again as well by Kazar, even if they try and contest it. Yeah. Mm. Medusi and Kazar in the middle should be. Yes, yeah, so I was thinking. Close. A bit scary. Yeah, <laughs> I saw those numbers jump up. It wasn't up. really that close at all, but it, but it was a little bit scary because they had something big happening. Congrats, you're on the iron rank. Yep. What's the bonus oh, ranks? This puts you to 13 as well. Oh, because I can lose ranks. Cool. <laughs> going, all, um, going all funny again. Okay, it's back to normal now. Um, I guess I'll briefly talk about the ranks. Yep. If you need any explanation of that, it's fairly obvious the way it works. But <laughs> click on the rank thing a minute. As you see, it keeps going all the way up through different materials, <laughs> sort of. Um, I mean, like, one of them's adamantium, and then, like, the last one's infinite. It's not really a material, is it? But um, no. Oh, yeah, vibranium's one of them. Omega's not really one of them. Galactic. And then infinite. So, um, the more you play the higher you go up on these um, yeah and it is based on cubes um there are seven spaces between each rank so if you do happen to win one of the games later uh, with a with an eight cube sweep you'll go up a whole level um and uh yeah, obviously then you'll be level 11 level 12 whatever so each time you rank up though it gives you a little bump it puts you up to 13. yeah so it means if you start losing it means basically if you rank up and then lose the next game you don't instantly rank down because that's yeah. obviously annoying um <laughs> what it does mean is like if it's like say you kept losing now we went to level nine if you went back to level 10 it doesn't jump your way back to 13 again it only gives you that jump once yeah um like per rank, but yeah, if we keep winning, we'll get to twenty, twenty. We'll get to twenty, which will give us twenty three, and we'll get to thirty, we'll get to thirty three, blah blah blah, until you get to hundred. Then you've unlocked all the cool stuff you can unlock that month. Yeah. Um. But then it does have the top players in the region you play in, and it turns yeah. out you start having a rank from there. Yeah, I don't think I'm getting that high. <laughs> no, I'm not that level yet. Oh, not this month anyway. We're like, what, three days, two days left? <laughs> no, and then when I did last when I did last month, it was still like 39,000th or something in Europe. So, you know, so it's nothing good. Maybe lower than that, probably 89,000 or something. I can't remember the number. It made me laugh and it was a huge number. It looked really stupid on the bottom of the screen there. <laughs> there's the little logo and it still has a number. And it obviously, I don't know, I don't think I really thought about how messy it looks when there's like a six digit number. No. Uh, oh, yeah, that's the thing as well. We couldn't lose cubes before, could we? When we lost uh, earlier, we didn't lose anything, did we? No, nah, was stuck at one the whole time. Interesting, interesting. Squirrel girl. I assume you must have seen her before, as well. Oh, this is good. That's a good one. Yeah. Um, this case, our swing goes up twice. See, um, this is actually one of the situations where I play Hawkeye left, but I, I, would, and I'd play Quicksilver somewhere else, not necessarily. Left. Yes, so I was thinking. Might seem weird. I'd probably play Quicksilver right, um, just because um, 
we don't know what card we're going to play on this location if we get one. It would, you know, again, it might be an argument to keep Quicksilver in hand, but. Yeah. I don't know. We have five one drops. There you go. So we can play Sentinel left. It's looking pretty good. Um, oh, that's it. Sorry, next time. Keys are in the middle. What did it be next time? Aye. Yeah, and then maybe snap if you get if you're allowed to. <laughs> I didn't even remember that was a thing they did. <laughs> that doesn't do that all the time, just saying. No. <laughs> Can you snap yet then or not? Uh Can you click on the cube? Nope. Not yet. Okay, so yeah, you haven't got the ability to snap yet. Yeah, that's fine. Sorry, they obviously have... I thought they gave you the ability to snap at level ten. Or is this still a tutorial, so I don't know. Your own deck. Um, oh, there you go. The cube cube and all those double after turn six. Is, is still, so this is still thing about the snapping. So if you um, so we'll we'll win at least two. Aye. Uh, oh, if all cards. Snapped, we'd get four. Uh, this Iron is... Man mid is insane. So I would play that. Oh, you can't no, wait. No, oh, I can another play in there. I play, I save Iron Man for your last turn. Then I just play. Sentinel then. Very great to have Medusa on the yeah, and Medusa as well because you're not going to not play it. You might as well just play her as another body, you know. Yeah. Your power. I know her ability doesn't go off, but still extra points. Exactly. Yeah. Ooh, Sarah. I think I got Sarah already. <laughs> <laughs> um. Right. So yeah, can I, I play click it? Oh wow. wait, I am made four. I, it dropped mm. me again. Um, Iron Man Middle was pretty insane. No, I've got that. His, his double is getting doubled, so it's like four yeah. times. I am Iron Man. Oh no. That's fine. Just. Oh, oh. just. I. Spectre <laughs> keep making me get scared. <laughs> I just. Because I was. Okay, so Spectrum, you do have her, as you can imagine, when you have Spectrum, like, the point is you want her in a deck where there's lots of ongoing cards so they all get boosted. Yeah. Because, like, we're trying with Kazar, we've got those one drops so they loads of stuff gets boosted. I'm so used to seeing her played in quite a lot of the board get bigger, <laughs> but at this stage it's actually only like one or two cards are getting bigger. <laughs> That's good. Um, and as I said, she recently got buffed because she was only like five... I can't remember what she so she's six. She was a six five before. She's a six seven now. She's yeah. a little bit bigger as well herself. Um, but yeah, it's quite scary. I think these are bots. Yeah, like shocker and I assume they're bots because then well the names are matching the pictures as well. Seems a bit too convenient. Sorry, no. my alarm going off. Then everybody might have heard that, didn't it? My mic picked up my alarm there. Oh, it's actually a useless card, mate. Um, um, mostly useless, yes. Not entirely useless, but mostly useless, yeah. Um, um I'd probably play Nightcrawl on the right though, if you're ever going to play him somewhere like that. Oh, in case the. Ability, so. Just because just you can. Like, just because you can more than anything, really. Hey, Gherkin. How's it going? I'm past that day. Tell me about it. It's pushing down up here as well. Yeah, it's, I need to turn the light on. I'm actually sitting here in the dark right now, and it's quite grey now. <laughs> I've, oh, yeah, I already was... I'm the English person, apologies, but that's the reason it came up. But, <laughs> you know, sadly there are more than one of us. Fair enough. Um, yeah, oh no! Oh come on! <laughs> okay, th this is clearly happening on purpose. So, yeah, I'm confident they've snapped because Sakar just gave them essentially a free Hulk. He gave you a rock. Yeah, I'm probably going to say to you that you should retreat, and that's what I would do. <laughs> yes, retreat. We're gonna lose a cube. 
Oh, God. It's not part of the tutorial, isn't it? Yeah, it must be, yeah. <laughs> Although that means... No, I was going to say, if you played a rock, that couldn't have happened, but it gave you two rocks, so it would always happen. No. I, think. I don't know how set up that is, but it's clearly quite set up. Also, yeah, maybe, it's I like it. by the time you get to the bits where it's your ranks, it wouldn't have that anymore, but I guess I'm wrong. <laughs> no, it's tutorial then. Yeah, I'm assuming so. This will probably be a situation where they have nothing going on. It tells you to snap, I guess. Because it hasn't told us to snap yet, has it? Uh, no, not yet. I guess I'll put that there. I guess minus two. What are the squirrels? Oh, the squirrels and a minus one. <laughs> If you look at the squirrel art a minute, they're different right now. Look at the squirrel art. Because it's um Oct it's the October season. No. <laughs> the horror one. <laughs> um, and they only played a normal standard squirrel girl, so it only gives normal squirrels. Mm. Dum -ba -dum -ba -dum. Yeah, they're playing really bad. <laughs> so I'm assuming this is going to be a game where they're like, yeah, this is why you can snap, whatever. There you go. Your opponent is losing. Snap. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I would snap. Actually, good for the snap thing. I must have done that already. Oh, I did it. Oh, I did it already, I guess. No. Oh, I can't see your point or anything, just so you know. I don't know. <laughs> so um, it's like, it's. Yeah. Other than obviously, like when you're fighting cards around, it's like I don't actually know. Effects on That's nice. It took a cube from you, but it's, <laughs> it's purposely playing the worst it can play. Aye. Hawkeye and Angela are only good when you play stuff after them. <laughs> yeah, just play Jess right or whatever. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. <laughs> you can't. No. Now. <laughs> I know. It'd be funny if they decided to give the uh it may be funny if the bot decided to snap as well. <laughs> the bot's like, yeah, I'm, I'm confident actually, I'm confident. Yeah, it's pretty nice though, so it takes a cube away from you but then it gives you four, so Yeah. It gives you plus three between the two tutorials, that's not too nice. that's not too bad. And I and I've got the three. She's Electra. She's Electra. <laughs> And there we go. Another wee frame break. I don't know if it's just because it's on uh, Steam, but I feel like I have to double click things a lot. Which is a bit annoying. So like... I mean obviously, none of that's happening now. But if I click on collection, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I think it's more just you than. Uh... Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> I, 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 I don't know. <laughs> Nearly at the halfway point with this. It's pretty good. It's, it's gonna so, be another. So how how is mixing to eighty six finding Marvel Snap so far? I know it's still very much tutorial season for you, but. Oh, it's pretty good. I feel like I'm learning a bit though, yeah, which is good. It's completely thing in death domain then. Um, um yeah, I wouldn't play anything though. However, if you play Nightcrawler somewhere else, Nightcrawler can move to there and you'll probably win that location. Yeah. Actually I have put them first in. Very, very strong. But uh, No, so I'm enjoying this. On there, so if something gets if something gets added there or moves there, then it doesn't die. Oh, this is an interesting thing to give you at this point in the game as well. I would play Medusa mid. Yeah. It's, it's going to trigger and then get plus three and then move somewhere else, and there's a potential it gets pushed to the left, which means you'll like definitely win Death's Domain. Hopefully. It, it, either way, if it goes right, it's still good. Because you've got Nightcrawler. But, um, yeah, so I would snap, by the way. I don't know what they could do to beat you. 
Oh man, if only we knew we were going to do Human Torch, that would have been even better. Could have uh, Human Torch the middle, that would have been good. Um, um, this is where you're going to start wanting to play, like, Hawkeye in a one drop, probably, or whatever, you know. Probably Hawkeye Ant Man or something in the middle. Yeah. Maybe one of the other two one drops on the left, if you uh, sorry, on the right, if you want. I uh, just uh, boost the numbers. Just a bit more power down. Yeah. No. They haven't played anything in Art Maze themselves yet, though, so there is a chance also they could play some something they play could go left from Art Maze as well, it could be bigger, but oh, they've got Nightcrawler as well. Uh, sorry, so you've definitely won left now. <laughs> you don't even need to move Nightcrawler. So they can't yeah. do anything about that. Um, um, we want to play something middle to trigger Hawkeye, so we might as well play Sentinel there. Aye. And then, stick out that eight, I suppose. Again, well just... it's sort of playing yourself. Because you, you're going to want to play Iron Man mid, I guess, next yeah. turn. And then... Aye. Yeah. With, with, you've won. This is a person they'd probably concede, but I'm assuming they're, they're still a bot as well. I think so. It's obvious bot. A bomb, maybe? I am. No, I am. No. Yeah, even if they played Hulk in the middle, which is going to be their biggest card. Looks like cards, yeah. No. So. No, you can't, you can't, you can't set more than once. Yeah, I think it is. Aye. Maybe they were real, or maybe it's just showing you that they can do it too. Number 14, let's go. There we go. Flying through this. I wish I felt this quick when I was playing it. <laughs> this is pretty good. I'm Plus at two level 92. I was got to level 95 the other day and went all the way back down to like 89 or something. Pretty annoying. <laughs> nope. It's weird not having the daily stuff. So I'm sitting there like, there's nothing to click now. Uh -huh, dodge the rocket raccoon. Yeah. I had to copy to another location. Um, yeah, so this is actually pretty good for us. Like, we've played Ant Man there. Yeah. I don't think I'd want to play Quicksilver though, because you don't want more than one Quicksilver, really. No. One more, than, more than one Ant Man would be fine. In a minute, you'll want more than one. Mr. Fantastic would be good, and more than one Kazar would be very good. That's what I was thinking. <clears throat> oh, that's not nice, but yeah, it's not the worst. Cool. Right, so we've gone Fantastic in the middle. Fantastic. And then Kazar in the middle next. Yeah. I'd snap, honestly. I don't know if you want to, though. This is what's uh, interesting things, like... Why not? Next turn you can fill it out with one... Next turn you can fill out the left with one drops as well. Yeah. Clear the um... Uh, could we drop... Oh, no, wait. If I drop Jessica in the middle, another one's going to appear somewhere. Well, it's probably fine actually. If you Aye. play Jess middle and then. Oh, I can only play in left. That's annoying. Oh no, it must be played there. Oh, I, thought it was... I was thinking it's the one, um... but I don't know what. I should pay more attention. Uh, Yeah, that's fine. Because it would. Nothing will. Just don't play anything. 
But if I play if I play one now, then it shouldn't matter, and it will give us an extra point. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah, you could do that. Yeah. They drew a lavender. I love draw a bath. It's like draw curtains. Oh, no. <laughs> so weird. It was like, do they use, do they use pencils, chalks, crayons, <laughs> ink? Just play Hulk in the middle uh, and win. Aye, right. it's, it's gonna move to somebody else as well. You have another one, and also it's you bumping up your own man. Abomination's not as big as the Incredible Hulk. That's a casserole right there. That's the casserole. <laughs> mm, tasty casserole. And now you can also see how um, quick how quick it is to fall. You probably can tell how quick it is to go up and down at this because you can keep winning games like just like people conceding to you, you keep getting a cube or whatever. You're like, yeah, I'm on like five wins in a row here. This is pretty good. You get a game where you snap and you're like, I'm really confident they snap. And you're like, shit. Yeah. And then they beat you and you're like, shit, I just lost eight cubes. So my five wins have all been deleted and worse. <laughs> and this is how I haven't got to infinite because it keeps happening to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll, play for, I'll play for like ages and then just get two or three massive losses and fall way back down again. Very upsetting. Having Central Park as a Central Park, and obviously, like we said about before, Savage Land's pretty good for this deck because obviously, if we um, get Kazar, then we're pumping up the tokens, which is nice. No, I don't mind if it's so I just want my appetite with a single mention of cats at all. Cats the roll. If Mick plays Morse as an app on stream. I don't know if you'll want to bother, but if he ever does, you'll have to get a casserole emote. I'm going to have to. Um... Maybe oh, I'm going to play on Hawkeye, because otherwise he doesn't trigger. Yeah, so it's because I don't think it's Mars, I think it's a bot. As I said, you've got to say hello to everybody, and if they don't say anything back, then they're definitely not real. There are other little ways to tell, but it's kind of hard. Or there's like ways you can play and see how they play. Yeah. You haven't ended your turn, by the way, so, you know. Oh, wait. I hope, I hope they are a bot, because otherwise you're really roping whoever you're playing. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> Oops. They're like, if you want to play a quick game Marvel Snap with guys, it's not passing the turn. Blizzard. Did you read that? Yep, yeah, so I'm going to want to avoid here if they start filling that up. You've um, you did not read that then. Well done. Congratulations. I minus four. Is in effect, <laughs> everybody. <laughs> oh, I <laughs> read it as. Power. I read that as minus four to me. Brother. I thought I meant minus four to me if four are here, so I want to fill this up. Um, oh, to them, yeah. He gets smaller if they get filled up. Um, oh, it's pretty good, two fives, though. No. That's a not well known fact. Did I say? I don't remember what I said. I talk too much, so I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, the pitch you use for lizards actually meet immediately. <laughs> oh, thanks. Uh, absolutely the same, Monica. Right, so I stick right here. So that'll lose four then. Um... Oh, stuck on the center, I suppose. Mm, okay, you know what? Take rest. So I'm not saying anything now, and I'm not sure about this place. <laughs> All right. We'll see. We'll see what happens. You've just filled up two. You've just filled up two lanes with two turns to go. Yeah, now I just realised. Yeah. And I've simply hit the snap button. As long as they have anything that's twelve or more to go in the middle, they're going to win that. Yeah. <laughs> and if they have anything that's four or more. To go on the sorry, five or more to go on the left. They're going to win that. So you've kind of possibly thrown them away. It. Yeah. Um, Iron Man Hulk is still the best like plays you've got now, though, for the right side. So this is <sighs> enough, I guess. 
That's like the only plays I've got. <laughs> I could play little guys and fill it up and make it really small like the other ones and hope they don't be. I am Iron Man. I mean, hopefully it's a bot and they just put like bulk on one location and then you win still mm, we'll see I am. or no. they just beat you probably yeah oh, actually don't know what's the other thing it's only a one drop no you're fine you won that was lucky just <laughs> <laughs> that was that was lucky yep <sighs> yeah this this is what's going to mess me up the most not paying attention. Oh. Yeah, that tends to mess people up. <laughs> this is pretty good. This is a good this is a good card. I recently got slightly buffed. The tokens used to only be seven power. Um I think we'll add them to the deck, but not yet. I'll wait until we get Odin. Um and then we'll go down that route because it's quite good. Especially at this point in the game, I think. I remember the, the one thing I do remember playing early on is like playing with Odin and White Tiger, and um, and we don't have him yet, but Wong as well. Yeah. Um, he does what Kun Lun does. The location does. He does. Uh, you get to double the uh, on reveal effects. So you get to do some. No, we don't. What are you doing? No. Nope. Did you listen to me at all? This is so. It doesn't it, just so the chat knows. It doesn't make a difference if I'm typing or speaking to him. He doesn't <laughs> listen to me. Yeah, you want to do all the plus fives. Let's get them all to green first, yeah. Why? Because we still got loads of green ones. It was because I got... Um, okay, well, we've unlocked Godin now, so let's go to the collection. Let's change the deck. <laughs> uh, that's that's why I saw that. I was like... Collection. Why can't I find this? What collection? The thing that's on oh. the top left. On the top yeah. left, this left. No, let's go on the collection. Oh, you already claimed him, right? I oh, haven't claimed him yet, okay. Yeah, that's what, that's what I was looking for. So I was in collection, I was like, it's not here. I was like, because I need to go collect it first. I'm so confused, Basil. Um, let's just start a new deck a minute, because it'd probably be easier than taking things out of your other ones. So, sorry, I was distracted by Monica's uh, message there. A colleague pal sent me a pic that just said, Bestie, do you have the answers for the prostate exam? Disgusting. Disgusting. <laughs> Bottom. On this, uh, let's make a new deck. Is what I say. Yeah. So it's... don't delete this deck. Let's make a new one. Right. So we're going to um, want. So let's uh... put Odin and White. Oh, for, can we? Um. Yeah, I'm just add. But. Oh, you've got it. So it's... sorry, I was confused the way it was organised. It's because you've got it. Organized oh. my energy, but you've got it from biggest to smallest. That's fine. That's fine. It's just I was, I'm always have it from like smallest to biggest on these things, so I'm no. confused at what the organ, the order, of the order even was. <laughs> um, let's put Odin. Let's put White Tiger in. Well, well, let's look at them as well, obviously. So Odin, well, so White Tiger makes. She's only a one power, so she's crap. She makes yeah. eight power Tiger. Anything that's crap about that, so it's like five nine altogether, which is. You'd think, oh, that's only as good as a ball nation, but it's spread, which is more useful. Yeah, it's worse because it goes somewhere random. Unless you've already um, filled one. However, yeah, unless you filled locations, and obviously can't go there. So you, you do get to control it somewhat, and it won't go in the same location as her. Should I say as well, another location. Yeah. Uh, Odin, he lands, and then he sets off all the unrevealables in that place that you put him in again. So with her, she'll make another eight power token, which is quite a lot. Because I mean, he's yeah. Power, and as we know, like that's quite a lot. I know we've had Hulk; he's twelve, but Hulk doesn't do anything. Yeah. So, um, one thing you could do in this is if you go to, if you go to on the search bits, the search and then the selectability. Do you see that? Yep. Yeah. Click on on reveal, and we'll see all the on reveal cards that we have. Yeah. So, um, we may as well. Try most of these in the same deck 
this will be like our Odin deck that we're trying. Yeah. To. Obviously, we'll still have some space to fill out, but we'll have a look at that in a minute. So, um, yeah, we'll put Hawkeye in there, Magista in there. Might as well put Star Lord in there and, and Sentinel in there. Uh, Wolfsbane gets plus two. Her other card that's in there. So if you go into a location that's already got three people in, yeah, she's a three seven, which is pretty good. Um, the better thing to do, the, the better line that would hopefully happen this deck, because she goes into a place where there's only two people first of all, so she's a three five, and mm -hmm. then Odin comes down and gives her another six, and then she's yeah. a three eleven, which is obviously pretty good. Um, I don't think. Do I want Spectrum? No, because we're not going to have ongoing, so I don't think. Jessica Jones is a weird one because um, I don't think we want to put her in. Maybe we will later or have a look. But her on reveal is obviously crap with Odin because yeah. unless you get some way to cheat him out early, you're going to be playing him last turn, so she isn't going to get to get that plus four power again. Yeah. Um, so that's probably a good start to deck. So get, get rid of the on reveal thing so we can look at the rest of the other cards. I, I would guess... The best thing to do now is like actually like do a similar thing to what the deck was before. So like, um, put your best couple. Of, like, you want to have a good curve. Do you, do you? If I say that, do you know what I mean? By the way, if I say like uh, an energy curve, as it would be in this game. Um, do you mean like for stuff like four and above? Can I think? Or like as as the energy goes up, have like the better cards. Be a literal visual. I don't know if there's a visual representation on this here but i mean so look, if you imagine um your one drops two drops three drops four drops five drops six drops in like a in like a bar chart yeah um a good curve is that it's sort of like there's more near the smaller than there is the big end do you know what i mean because right if you keep drawing six drops all game you can't play them yeah if you keep drawing one drops all game they're not as powerful as the six drops but you can play them all and later it doesn't mean like and we've had this come up you know you might not play a four drop you might play two two drops so no. you don't want to go too big on one on one end. Obviously, that can change later in the game. There's decks that like your pack, your play that look really wild on a energy curve um, look, but until you realize what the cards do, do you know what I mean? Like yeah. Right now, I feel like Kazar is still probably our most power, one of our most powerful cards. So I feel like playing Kazar, playing our best one drops, which are going to be Nightcrawler and Ant Man. Um, and then having a look at what space we've got two spaces left. Yep. Um, so we've got we've got three one drops. Three. Ooh, I just made the chat really big, so I can't see anything now. That's good. Um, <laughs> three one drops. Three two drops. <clears throat> yeah. Four drops. Five drops. Six. Drops. Probably one. Well, Fantastic's been really good, hasn't he? Right. So I guess we play him. Yeah. And maybe just four curve. We play either Colossus or Cyclops. Just to um No. Mm, I think I'd go with Colossus. Just kinda of have his power adjust, so Yeah, he might he might come at useful like the you had that uh I think it was Necrotia that we had earlier, which was like the location that gave everybody minus whatever. Yeah. Like, he's good to like obviously dump in those locations because then he's just the same size. Um, yeah. And yeah, and then make sure it's yeah. When you go out, make sure it's selected. I think, oh yeah, do what you want as well. Change background, change picture if you want. Give it a name if you want. I don't know, you know. I know you love your names of deck one and deck two, but <laughs> I don't know if you're going to remember what they are once you have twelve decks. <laughs> change just to Odin deck then. Um, you're not gonna have a cool picture. I'm just gonna oh have yeah, a weird little agent man. Oh, I have an Odin picture. How all these pictures and you decided to pick Abomination? It's interesting. Oof. I can't remember who I picked when I first played it. Oh, Cyclops is who I picked for the first play because I love Cyclops. <laughs> right. I'm one of those people. I know a lot of people like, love X-Men and they're like, I love Wolverine. He's really cool. Oh, Cyclops, <laughs> he's really boring. I'm always like, Cyclops is fucking cool, man. Wolverine's, Wolverine's the boring choice. Aye, but I think it's the films that made them boring. So he's just kind of there. Not doing it's anything. Really in the films, yeah, but I mean, like, I'm judged, you can't judge the characters on those films. Can you? <laughs> no, you really shouldn't. Eh? 
Right. Uh, oh, I didn't notice this though. So oh, wait. <laughs> Season pass. Win with Spectrum starting in your deck. You only make a deck with Spectrum and you have to win two games. And then you get all of your recruit season chapter one bit done. Let's go right. back to the collection in a minute. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's just make a new deck seconds as well, because this this deck this deck seems fine. Just make a new deck again. You've got yeah. twelve slots to make decks. Right, so put spectrum in. Spectrum's out. Hey, like before, instead of with selectability, but instead of um, on reveal, let's look at ongoing. Because what Spectrum does is gives you plus two to all the people that have ongoing abilities. Yeah. Let's just fucking stick all of these guys in. This is actually a curve anyway, there. But like so. Yeah. Um, and then, like before, mm. let's fill out in a way that looks good, basically. Yeah. I think maybe... And also, we might as well like have um, like grey border cards. If 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 you, basically if you you're deciding between two things, I would pick the grey border card just because. Yeah. You know. But right now, I guess. I don't know. We've got Kazar, so we want more one drops again. So again, yeah. You you're probably always going to want Hawkeye and uh, Hawkeye Ant Man and Nightcrawler in your decks anyway. I think. Hmm. That's some shock kind of shock as well then. Um uh, oh, to What? Maybe things. This might be a deck to put the thing in. Oh you're just gonna put you in torch in. Yeah, that seems fair. Maybe you can I was just wrong. Uh, so I was just saying because there's three twos and two threes. Oh we have four. Oh we have four. Hmm. Oh, you know what? Chicken. Oh my god. Right. Um. Got the suspension. <laughs> <now>. <laughs> yeah. Alright, just so I know. These spectrums, um, are, these spectrums are 6 7 now. Amp man? Oh, you know what? Yeah. Just go with Cyclops. Yeah, Alright. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's that one? Uh, right. I need to win two matches uh, with us. Oh my god. You've already won like a dozen, haven't you? So it should be fine. Yeah. Right. Let's see probably play Nightcrawler first because uh, his trigger won't go off um, this turn, Hawkeyes, because yeah. it's non reveal when they're oh, not revealed. Yeah. So it will go off, it just won't go off till next turn, but that means you, you know, you turn three is when you're going to want to play something on him. Ah, also, this is pretty good. So, like, Nexus, like, you basically want to be winning Nexus at the end because you might win the whole game just by winning Nexus. Yeah. Um, knowing that they're probably going to play there too, so this is where you might want to play Star Lord in the middle. Yeah. Hopefully. <laughs> well, there's 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 two sides to it. Like they might do because they might want to like get some power in there to like win the like uh, win location, but they also um might not have done because they might have just waited to put big cards in there. But you know you've got four spaces, so you got them. Oh my god, it's giving you like absolute mental locations. Quantum tunnel was fun. <laughs> I don't know if we want to use it. Um, um This is one of these things where this is like cause a digital card thing, because like you could do this in real life, but this would be a lot more awkward. Yeah. Like um, taking a card taking a card, you'd have to like put in real life you'd have to like put it to the side, shuffle <laughs> your deck. Get the card out, do you know what I mean? Unless you just drop it and it does a cool animation for you. Yeah, I think turn three is fantastic in the middle is always going to be good. Like, yeah. I, I can't. There's not going to be very many situations where it's going to be bad. Also, because Quantum Tunnel is so random, um, having somebody be able to give power to that lane without having to actually be in it is pretty good. They've also screwed themselves over a little bit, so this makes me think it is a bot, because Angela is good at play cards on top of her lane, and they just filled it with Nightcrawler, which doesn't count as playing on it, so it's kind of stinky. Um, I would play... So I was thinking Hawkeye in the left, and if I play Shocker... 
and then I can swap it for a really good card. Yeah. Although you could potentially play Hawkeye in the middle, because you know you're gonna play you're gonna play Iron Man. I'd probably play Iron Man on the Oh yeah. And, um, and yeah, I'd I'd stick Shocker in the tunnel. See what we get out. Might get the Hulk if we're lucky. Oh no, we don't have the Hulk. Might get Spectrum. Like, yeah. like that. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> and he gives one person a boost, but it's pretty nice. Well that was mean. <laughs> Yeah, I wanna play Iron Man uh, for sure. Uh, now it's a good to what we draw, like it's probably K's and R plus something, I imagine. Yeah. Next turn. It's probably to this as well then, shouldn't I? Yeah. Iron Man. They retreat instantly, which I don't know if that means that's Probably a bot. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe, but it also, like, I don't know. Sometimes I retreat instantly at those things as well, but they're in the middle of playing something. That's one with the Spectrum deck already. Yep. Right, hopefully this one's a bot. We can get rid of it. Hey, look, we'll beat the other players as well. They don't have somebody to coach them. Exactly. <laughs> um, so, yeah, don't play Hawkeye in the space room. Yeah. <laughs> Space Frame, oh, okay. you want to save for your biggest card. The Space Frame is going to be pretty bad for our deck, actually. Yeah. Because the biggest power thing you've got is Spectrum, which is seven, which is not so big. Okay. Um... Uh, you might as well start all the middle, I guess. Yeah. Oh, they've. Oh, uh, yeah. Mantis, I guess, is a Guardian of the Galaxy type character. Yeah. She has an. She has an ability to stimulate. She just doesn't get bigger like they do. She. Uh, it's information. I was gonna say Nebula. Nebula's in the game as well. She doesn't have, an on reveal. She has. Um, she gets bigger unless people play the opposite side of her. Which. The point in that is, I guess, is that it like baits people to play the opposite side of us and the other guardians are better. So it does actually have flavor, yeah, uh, in the game if you play them together, which is cool. Jesus Nebulous is a very good card, anyway, though. <laughs> I don't remember us playing, oh, yeah, because he's on going, of course, he is. I was I didn't remember us playing Punisher there. You might as well play Punisher right. Aye. Uh, that's what I'm saying. They've done a spell up right for sure, because um, they've got Ant Man. Yeah. You're gonna, that's the biggest your Punisher's gonna be able to be. Did this person play Nightcrawler right? As in, they put it on Angela and then moved away, so they gave themselves another chance to play something on Angela. Yeah. Well, Kazar is definitely the, the play. I don't really want to put it though, left or uh, right or middle. Um, um, Probably right. Because you can put yeah, Iron Man in the middle. Well. Oh no, you're going to play Spectrum next turn, surely. Oh yeah. Nice. We'll have to see. You've got. Because you've got. Three ongoing cards down at that point. And the, they've also capped themselves out now on the right, so you've got yeah. 23 there, which means that um, Spectrum is adding four there with her ability, so you won't win without a body being there, so she needs to be there. What, on the left? On the right. On, on the on right. The right. She's only adding plus four there, plus two to each of them, so that would only be 18, but with her there, you win that lane. Right. They have to play something left to win it, because if you're Mr. Fantastic, and they Aye. have to play something middle to it. Is that you or them, Snappy? Me. <laughs> right. That's a weird thing when I can't tell where you're clicking. I thought you could see the... does that. I can't see a point there, no. Oh. I, I, told, I told you that an hour ago. <laughs> oh, it's, it's just it's just weird because I can see it because I can see it on mine. Oh, who knows? It's probably a setting I need to change or something. 
As I say, I can't see it. And that means the stream definitely can't see it. Yeah. Oh no, wait, the stream can see it. I uh, stream can see it because I've changed the setting on Why can't I? OBS. Oh, all right, but you, you haven't said it. There's something you must change on uh, Discord then. Yeah, I just, I'm looking at the stream quickly then. It's like, it's like, yeah, I can see the little triangle, but I can't. <laughs> that that um the the little pole snap thing happens if they do it too. Do you know what I mean? So, no, I... Like, I don't know if it's you or them. Snapping. Oh, your recruit season, three new things. Oh, sick. Um, we're gonna add nice. that to the Odin deck. Yep. Just get the card back as well. Oh. Um. Oh. Wait. Sorry, season pass. Create a new deck. That's really annoying because you've just done two. Oh. Um, uh, how about? We'll create a new deck anyway. A minute, just to check them off. I. Uh, like, don't even. I can just. <laughs> just cause... that's really annoying. You come up now. Yeah, just stick anything in it. Oh, what a good deck. I mean, that, that can at least is playable. Yeah. <laughs> Upgrade a car to rare or better. Is rare blue? I'm assuming red blue. I think so, I. Um, um, so anyway, sorry, go go back into the deck bit and go to the Odin deck. That was up. Yep. So we just unlocked Ironheart. Yep. You recognise that character from the MCU? I don't know if you've seen all the films. Uh, seen all the films? Is that from Endgame? The last one? Like Gwyneth Paltrow? No? Uh, no, I don't know. Uh, also, that isn't an Endgame, that's in Iron Man 3. Is it? I, I don't remember Iron Man 3, I thought it was pretty Have you shite. seen Black Panther 2? No. Oh, have you not? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> That'll be why I don't recognise it. <laughs> Black Panther 2? Um, she, I mean, she looks a bit different, obviously, to that. Yeah, so you want to put her in there because she's on reveal and her ability is not great once, but obviously if it goes off twice, it's really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I don't know what you want to drop, though. No, that's a good one. You don't want to drop Wolfsway because she's got the on it. Hmm. Probably Sentinel. Can we drop any? Unless we do drop... Unless we just do drop... Kazar and a one drop, and then add Ironheart and something else in instead. Yeah. You know what I mean, like, get, oh no, all the one drops are good though. <laughs> Did you just get rid of her? Uh, Nightcrawler. I don't want to get rid of that. Uh, you don't want to... I'd actually maybe get rid of Ant Man. No. Yeah. I don't really know. It's really hard when you've got those few cards in some ways. No. <laughs> Um, I'm man. I'm gonna add. Uh, uh, kind of funny again. Oh, um, drop out, man. Add Jessica, maybe then. Or, yeah. I, I guess because of Great Border, but a four drop, basically. You might want yeah. to add the thing in because again, you haven't been able to upgrade them yet. I don't think. Right. And so the other thing, you you can click on. You know where it says energy on the top. Sorry, back on collection. If you click on energy. Yep. And that top left bit, you could put, you can click on upgradable. So you might be able to, no, it's, they'll have like a little effect on them if you've got enough stuff to upgrade them. Oh, okay. Um, so, so as you, they, I think rare is rare blue. I don't know what, I can't remember. Yeah, because uncommon is green and then rare is blue, I guess. Aye. Yeah, yeah, and then epic is, but okay, right. Yeah, because you, you're going to want to upgrade one of them to blue later for the, uh, yeah. Season pass thing. That's why you shouldn't have done it already. I uh, know. <laughs> I'm here to help you. <laughs> Let's play some games. What do you want to play with? Spectrum or do you want to play this Odin deck? Uh, we'll play Odin because I've not played with Odin yet, so that should unlock the other one. Play a match with a new deck. We are. Sh should. We'll see. The rain's fully raining now. Oh, it's been like here constantly. The chat again. Right. Um typically the deck that we don't have Kazar in is when they give us the free one drops that could get Yeah. Up. Let's pack them out. 
Oh, hokey eye. Mm. Mm, this one's awkward. Yeah. Um, you want to play Colossus left anyway right now, because again, you want to trigger Hawkeye. You keep oh, yeah. like you're going to not trigger your Hawkeye, which I do. I don't know if they can make any more of this for you. They put a big green square on the screen. I oh, know. They're giving you a Colossus as well. I love it. There you go. Have another one. Start it. Um, well, you're to play. See, now this is a problem. Play... Normally, we'd always say Fantastic Middle is great, but then you're giving them a chance to play Fantastic Middle as well. So I don't yeah. really want to bother. So. Because of that, we're looking at your other cards. I wouldn't want to fill up Lefty yet. So you want to play in the Danger Room, and the safest thing to put in the Danger Room is Colossus, because he can't get destroyed. Neither can. But even if the Danger Room triggers on him, there's um. only a 1 in 4 chance, and then you'll be fine anyway. Didn't trigger anyway, typically. Interior for either of them, either. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Some people have all the luck. Um. So Ironheart's pretty good in Danger Room as well because she, as a card, is actually crap. She takes up space and is annoying. Yeah. Um. So even if she does die to it, it's actually probably a good thing. I'd play Nightcrawler somewhere as well. Uh, left, probably, and then move him into Danger Room. That makes sense. Yeah. It's got nice and PC and updates. It's a big update. It does look really nice. Uh, Ross? Yeah, the most just... update they did, finally did, is really nice. Danger Room hasn't triggered. <laughs> That's really annoying. Um, not, not yet. <laughs> I would just move no what would i do i know what i would do what would you want to do though so i was saying maybe move knife crawler this is, big, uh, this is a big turn yeah uh, i was saying maybe well, move i think move night crawler yeah and then play uh star lord or wolfsbane in the middle yeah. Well, maybe not Wolfsbane, maybe just Fantastic. Um, move Nightcrawler to Danger Room, because he can't die moving into there. Ah, oh, fuck, put that now. Um, so they'll get Fantastic and Star Lord, but if they want to play them last turn, then, like, you know, Merry Christmas, I guess, you know what I mean? Yeah. And then we can decide to Odin, probably middle. Um, ooh, they might have that right side now, then. Um, yeah, and he just owed in the middle, I think. Unless they, unless they play something big on the left. Oh, over they are. Oh, shit. Oh, well. Oh, well. Ross, it was going good until there. Ah, well. That's alright. Aye. Right, hold off doing that just now because we need to get a rail. Yeah, no, you still want to upgrade him. You want to still want to upgrade to greens where you can. And they don't share boosters, remember? That's not your problem, isn't the, um uh, You've got plenty of um, the blue stuff, the uh, credits. You just need mm -hmm. the boosters for each card. So the booster's specific to the card. It's not like you get booster points oh, yeah. and that's it. You've only got like. Six to spend, kind yeah, of thing. So credits is credits is like stuff you buy stuff with, and boosters are relevant to each card. So you, you as I said, you get them from playing with them. Right, um, right. But you can also sometimes unlock specific ones randomly later. So like, if you look on this collection level, there it there says five boosters there. That'll be five mystery boosters. Like you don't know whose it'll be, but right one be for some for a card you have. Um, whereas the only other way to get them is just to play with them and then obviously one of the 12 cards you play with each round 
each game, should I say, it gives you boosters at the end of each game for them. So, right, Amazon it's understood that. For you to upgrade the card. Yeah, so that's the reason like you want to play with these cards that are grey borders because eventually you'll get the um, boosters to be able to upgrade them. Oh, sick! Nice. You got a cool variant for uh, Odin. Odin on his six-legged horse. <laughs> you gonna change it so it looks like that? I think I might. Um. Yeah, look at that. That's yeah, that's much. That's much better. Yeah. <laughs> I I totally I misunderstood the uh, upgrade thing because because like, obviously gold well... and the credits are over. I just thought it was you have these however many booster points. Well, I mean, it's a typical free to play game where it has about two thousand different fucking um, versions of <laughs> like um, currency in the game. That's the word I'm looking for. So no. <laughs> Right, so I can't play anything. Cool. <laughs> easy turn, isn't it? Fun. Nice easy turn. This <laughs> turn destroy the top card of your opponent's deck. Well, we won't put right, it so... in the middle anyway, so... Yeah. It's pretty good. It does the effect that Yondu has. What? Yondu's card has that effect? Yeah, Yondu is like Yondu is on reveal. Do that. Um. Oh no, that's annoying. <laughs> what did you just kill, Mister Sinister? I. But I don't Wait, know what they. So click on your click on your opponent's picture a minute. And oh, well, it should say destroyed because you just destroyed something. Yeah, and it's a zero. Okay, that's wrong. Because apparently the hand returns everything that was destroyed. So, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you killing something there actually might have helped them. It might have. Well, it doesn't help the map. Well, it sort of does because it gives them a free play. But we know there's going to be a Mrs. It should. I think it was Mr. Sinister. He'll have a Mr. Sinister there. Yeah. There is a two-two that makes another token of his himself, which is like a two-two. Why are they snapping? Um. Let's see. I don't think it matters. Um, what do you want to do? I feel like just Sentinel Nike was probably the best thing right now. I was thinking that on on the left, maybe. the Davilia. I saw was like that. I don't know why they snap because they are it's still good. early. <laughs> yeah, but. Might as well play White Tiger left as well. Yeah. As you see how good this effect is already, because like wherever that tiger goes, it makes you win that location. Like that one. <laughs> yeah. Because hopefully we draw your core cool Odin, and we slam him on the left, and then just win. Yeah, so they filled out there now as well because of that Miss Sinister coming back. Yep. Yeah. Damn it. Um, um, well, right. Well, we definitely won. We've we've won right. Yeah, um, we've put. We'll the spin under. We could add is like Hulk. It's a bit like yeah. A forty-two, but that's only they have Hulk. I mean, that's gonna add plus two for each other card. So that's yeah. <laughs> Um, that they are. The... Yeah, and an iron heart and wherever you want. Makes you have a stuff bigger. Aye. Yeah, Switch in the middle. Aye. Seems good to Let's me. see how that goes. Because even if they put Hulk in the left, that's the only one I can if play. If they Hulk in the left, they've lost because that's all they've got and they lose. Aye. They can't do that anyway. Oh, that's perfect as well. <laughs> I am Iron Man. Oh yeah, Iron Man was the thing too, but it doesn't really matter. Right. Yeah, so say, whatever, if they play something big on the left, it's not going to win. They'd have mm. to have had a really big one drop for the middle too. But... Should have snapped on that one actually, but could have had a <laughs> Well, I don't know if they would have stayed, but... I 
Because I make any other notes other than pretty much my notes are worth just about collection level and upgrading the green cards, and that was about it. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Um, Conquest, Conquest is good for boosters. That was a thing that I took there, so, but like that's later, later on, really. Yeah. I'll come up. When can we play Conquest? Sorry, what does it say when you're? Uh, finish recruit season pass. Oh, you have to finish the recruit season pass. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah. Nearly there. Could happen. No, I've got another forty minutes. It's not too bad. Yeah. Um... At this stage, we're just blasting through games now. Feels like anyway, right? Aye. Take cards. Aye. We'll get these as well. Raw cards, play cards, which is just you just play the game. <laughs> Aye. Can I play it in again? Well, it's the difference. So this is this goes back to the the energy. I was going to say mana curve. That's a magic thing. The energy curve thing, you see. That's why having lots near the left is better than the right, because, you know, more plays. Because like, we don't have as many one drops as we did that Kazar deck. Yeah. There's been a couple of games now where we haven't had anything turn one, but it's fine, because we're just, instead of playing things consistently, we're trying to play. We're going for quality over quantity, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, this is the awkward one, because uh, we've got stuff that's good in the middle, but Rickety Bridge is going to absolutely mm -hmm. deal us in. Um, I would probably play, yeah, play Star Lord on left or right, whatever you feel like. Probably left because they're more likely to go there. I think I so. Think. Aye, there we go. <laughs> got him. Uh, they got us as well. Nah, cool. Uh, Ross, aye, you can do friendlies. Yeah, we actually. Yeah, we yeah we can do. I I said I'd I'd <laughs> give Mick a game later as well, which would be funny. But yeah, we could always um, you could always give Mick a game later as well. I guess I don't know. I'm up for that. I want to definitely get um, get the season pass thing done first, though, for sure. Oh, so this is interesting. So actually, filling Rickety Bridge up is going to be good because if they do kill your stuff. Oh yeah, the appeal there. Stuff in there. It's going to return to the uh, right side. So actually. This fantastic Shit. mid is probably still the play. Yeah. And actually, uh, and sub um, subterranean, giving you rocks, is actually not going to be the worst thing because you you have a cheap player just putting something there. Yeah, I didn't hear that because uh, Manlon traded in, <laughs> and then I had Patrick Stewart singing him at you. Manlon, how you doing? How was Dragon Age? How did you go? And what what class did you end up playing as? Uh, oh, if it's one of my right, oh. you're totally wrong. Are you two twos in the middle? Two or oh, both of those? Yeah, yeah. A totally wrong. What? <laughs> what <laughs> I'm class? Running out as well. Right. What class is that, Mikey? So last I saw. Mage and I think human was tying. Yeah, that's gone. Snap. I'd snap them. I think you've won this. Oh, and then put a white tiger in the middle. Oh, because if that gets destroyed, does that mean the token will appear yeah. again? Ah, okay. Right. Yeah, hopefully. Ch Hopefully Tiger goes left that we make, and then it dies and we get another Tiger. Okay, that's not perfect, but, you know. Oh no, you would... Sorry, this is turn 5, so it wouldn't happen again, but that's fine. Right, um... um... So let's just put... Well, I could put Will's Bane there. Why oh, oh, right. Well, oh. remember, they're, go so they're going to be on 15. So you need they're gonna be on fifteen on left, so you're gonna to need to get another We do need to put stuff on the left though. I don't know, it's according to what they put on the right. Oh no, fantastic is make us win the middle. No, that's fine. Yeah. Um That's fine, yeah. yeah. Fail on the right is probably all we need basically. <laughs> have fun if you want. Don't really do anything. Oh. Ah, that that means one. 
Yeah, if you so put I mean, Wolfsbane on the left, it was only Wolfsbane on the left was only going to be small. Oh no, I guess you fill out the with the rocks, but even then, it's not going to be as big as the rest of the stuff they've got there. Yeah. Right, we'll get in there. Right. This is what I was talking about the collection track earlier as well, by the way, because if you look, um, you're only needing five to get those frame breaks, but to get the uh, five boosters to get frame break, but you need ten to get the next one, and obviously we need that for something later, excuse me, for um, yeah. to get rare or better, so uh, what is that? Uh, animated? No, epic's animated. Like was... blue one. You should know. Oh, no. okay. yeah. just... Anime is the. Yeah, but what's rare do? Uh, what's it do? To the nothing. Um, let's see. No, it does something. It doesn't do nothing. Uh, it does something. Not boss. Mm, 3, 3D. Because just uh, oh, yeah, fr yeah, yeah. frame break and then. Yeah. You can see. It's... Yeah, good. It's yeah, 3D. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Looks very good on the phone. It looks, it looks phones are the thing where obviously it looks good mm -hmm. on screen here, but I mean on the phone you obviously get that weird effect where you can move the phone in your hand. Yeah. You actually get to like try and peer. You like you tw you turn your phone to the left and look at the left side of the no. thing or whatever. Do you? No, that's pretty cool. Or you see more of the right, but yeah. But then it's animated. Is the next one afterwards. No. Which sometimes really good and sometimes shit according to what they bothered to do. <laughs> Let's see. Right. Um. Ah, oh, stuck in the middle. Okay, <laughs> turn seven. Um, no. yeah. 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 Even if hope. they try and play a Guardians type character against you now, it's like you're both it's getting the benefit. Yeah. They didn't. Um, okay. This is an unexciting turn. Probably just want to stick Nightcrawler on Nexus for the moment. Yeah. Oh, I say something we haven't talked about, but it hasn't really come up yet. New card. Hmm. Um, it's priority. So, like, obviously, you take turns simultaneously, but the way the effects go off, there is an order to it. Um, if you see the little gold logo around Carter's name right now, that's to show that they've got priority. It's whoever is winning has priority. Um, yeah. If you're unsure because it looks like you're tying or whatever, or it might just be a tie, um, then it's randomly done. You can tell who's going to do that. And also that can be important um, because the order thing's triggering. Okay, I think we've lost the right one. <laughs> well, we don't mm. want to lose the right one because if we do, we're probably going to lose the game. Oh, um, yeah. I would play. No, I don't actually know what I would play. I think I've kind of messed up the middle one. So I was going to put Mr. Fantastic in, but then that completely fills that. Yeah. Um... Unless I play Jessica in the middle. In which case that yeah jessica right uh... isn't the worst either because i know normally it'll be bad because like i mean next that means you could put nothing else in nexus but we've got a turn seven to do it in oh yeah so maybe maybe put her there you just want power in there that's the biggest power you've got right now yeah so like next next turn we can play white tiger at somewhere Right, um... Quick 
Yeah. Yeah. If you do that, then there's a chance the tiger goes in the middle, and you don't, uh, I don't know if you want that or not. Maybe you do. I don't know. Mm. Actually, yeah. Wait, how many cards have you got left in the deck? Sorry. Click on yourself. You know, your little picture. You have three left, right? So you've got a one in three chance of drawing Odin. Yeah. So I think wait, tag on the left, then. Yeah. I, I, this is looking bad anyway, but yeah. No. Yeah. I guess maybe a loss. Well, no, you can play two threes, can't you, though? Mm, could do. Oh, that's I good actually, I, yeah, you can play him on the left then as well, set off um, White Tiger. It's annoying because I was going to say I'd have actually played two threes on it. <laughs> <laughs> but um, it dropped me out of the call again oh. for a second. It's really annoying. Yeah. Uh, you could have helps. played um, Wolfsbane middle and Fantastic on left. You know, yeah. Like, abandoned left and just hoped. But. <laughs> Hopefully this goes right. No. no. <laughs> cool. Even if it did go right. Nah, it wouldn't matter. Uh, we would lost anyway. Yeah. Oh, ah, well. Weird. It's annoying it's dropped me so many times. It only does it for a few seconds, but obviously the games aren't long, so... <laughs> Which is enough. <laughs> yeah, it's enough for like a few seconds to like be like, oh, actually don't do that. Oh. Right. Maybe our Odin deck's just not too good enough right now, you know? Maybe it's not. Maybe you play the Spectrum deck instead, I don't know. It's up to you, isn't it? Oh, yeah, you might as well delete your deck 4, by the way. <laughs> oh, I. Remember, you just made it just to get the thing. It's literally just the first 12 cards that are in the list there. Alright, we'll try, we'll try Spectrum. See how we go. So I'm done. Right, let's see. Oh, so I feel like we're playing actual players now. It's just one of the losses are going to start coming in. Okay, so we know they've got Wolfsbane in hand. Yeah. I don't really know what that tells us yet. That maybe they're playing an Odin deck. Oops. Um. Oh, I've just picked up here, I suppose. This was really matters just now. Probably want to end your turn though. Yeah, I thought I, I, thought I clicked I it there. I hope you're not playing against real people because I'd be like getting annoyed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, you doing the same thing. Say hello to them anyway. I told you, he's got to say hello. And if they say anything, oh, yeah. And then you know they're real, but if they don't, then we don't know. Um, I'm going to fix it. Disabled. I just stick shocker in the middle, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. I don't really know. Yeah, might as well. It doesn't affect him though, because he doesn't have any abilities. Yeah, I sort of second, because then I put Colossus in. Just in they case. Colossus is shocker if he goes in the middle, basically, yeah. Mm -hmm. I bloody love Mr. Sinister at this stage. I guess he's an early car. Um, I haven't much it pains me to say this, but yeah, maybe Punisher is the play on the left. Yeah. You know they're going to fill it up, so the best Punisher is going to be at this stage in the game. <laughs> Fantastic's going get, to get screwed over by the middle, so you don't want to actually put him there. Yeah. You don't really want to put I mean, I think this is actually where we play the thing, and just play him in the middle. Again, it's the same as Shocker, it's got no abilities, and it's actually quite, it's the biggest body you've got. Yeah, sort of stinking. Um, hmm. I would play Nightcrawler and Wolfsbane on the left. The hmm was... Would it be? Would they be filling that out now? And would it be worth playing Star Lord? But I don't know if they will. Nah, I don't think go for the middle. Just move away so you can put something else there in a bit. Oh, they are filling it out, but they're going mid to.
Um. <laughs> Iron Man is dead middle, so you don't want to do that. Yeah. I suppose I could put I Star Lord and Colossus mid and be done with it. Do you mean? Oh, you could. So I was saying, Mister Fantastic in the right, and maybe Colossus in the middle. Yeah. I, don't, I think I think this is a snap as well. I don't think like I don't think there's much where you could lose. We'll see. <laughs> no, you got me to blame as well. That's the other advantage <laughs> of having me here. But if if I say, oh yeah, because I could play Hulk there, for example, which they might be doing now. Okay, it's going to be big, but either way, it doesn't matter, does it? That's fine. Hasty I still win. For Mix 86. Hey, that Mark, if that is your real name. <laughs> well, I didn't reply, so. Exactly, it could just be a robot trying to be fascinating, Mark. <laughs> Ooh, what boosters are they? Punisher ones. It's because Punisher was okay in that game. Yeah. They were like, oh, I'll break your Punisher because he's so good. Oh, you got to play one more card for the daily mission, though. Bloody breaking them frames all over the place. Oh, yeah, I also just realised that... Wait, how long have we been in the bit where we've been getting mystery cards? Have we been doing that on the collection level thing? Um... When did we get Scarlet Witch? I'm not even paying attention. Ah, oh, that was the first mystery card we got. All oh, right, okay, yeah. I didn't even, I didn't even know you got a mystery card. That's exciting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's like opening a pack of real life boosters. It's one of the most, most fun things that you can do in card games is not play the game but just open packs. Aye. <laughs> Those people that do FIFA fucking pro whatever uh, it's called, you know, uh, ultimate, the... ultimate team packs. That's the one. It's like that. Oh, but team, people could get paid thousands of pounds just to open things like that on stream. <laughs> um, which deck is this? The Spectrum deck? Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, I'd probably just play Ant-Man. I guess you could play... No, nah, Hawkeye's going to be crap on Sinister because it's, it'd be too hard to trigger, but... Oh, no, it won't. Oh, yeah. You yeah, should... no, 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 play Hawk, play Hawk, on, play Hawk on Sinister. You're, and then we'll play two ones next turn. Yeah. Well, most likely, anyway. Uh, maybe not, because that's going to be really annoying. Yeah. It's probably the Night Well, mm. in this deck, it's, remember, this is your ongoing deck, so you're a... Uh... Oh, yeah, I guess if it teleports to the middle... You're probably actually right. No, you're probably right. I actually... I agree with your play. I agree with yeah. your play. I would normally say, like, you'd want to double Ant-Man rather than double Nightcrawler because of the deck. Yeah. But because of the situation of the middle... If the Sinister London one drop goes in the middle, you would much rather it was Nightcrawler because then it can move away. Yeah. Whereas your Ant Man's going to be stuck and then you've like shown your hand a bit. And I'd actually keep Nightcrawler there for the moment as well because it means that like nothing else can get there. Fucking hell, this this okay the the, the whole <laughs> this is really good for you though. I was snapped by the way. There's like a million one drops and you've got you're going to have two Kzars in a second. Yeah. Because you're going to. Just, I would just pass the turn. So then put uh, Kzar on the left, then one will jump to the yeah. right. You had two Kzars and you're going to have one space left to decide what you want to deal with. Yeah. Which I'd also, I'd, I'd probably pass next turn, basically. Yeah. I uh, see if you get like... It's according to what a good six card. Iron Man's like most likely the best thing, but you could end up drawing Spectrum. Yeah. Ah, well. Oh, no, wait. No. Oh, you End this turn. Pass, yeah, you got one more turn. They pass this turn, yeah. Aye. That's sorry, I thought no, it was on turn six. You, get to move, you also get to move a Nightcrawler, so you get to decide where you want that power to go. Yeah. This is why Nightcrawler's very good. So that's the reason I kept saying, like, if we're going to put one drop, so that deck we might as well put the Nightcrawler. <laughs> uh, Spider-Woman. Oh, she's dropping me out of the call again. Look at that. So wait a minute, what's the board look like? So if you play, play Spectrum Anime, the middle, 
I'd I'd move the middle Nightcrawler, yeah, and then place Spectre in middle. Sorry, draw me out a second then, if that's what you're already saying. I just I don't I just I don't think it'd matter where Spectrum was played. Um, yeah, because of how much power you're paying it, because that nobody oh. being buffed in the middle by Spectrum. Yeah. See, if you didn't do that, you would have only had uh, 11 in the middle. Yeah. Um, and then we'd be on a tiebreaker, which would be... I can't tell now because of the battle rewards things in the way. <laughs> I don't know if it would be in our favour, basically. I, don't, I think it would be in our favour. I think they're winning. They, they think they'd be winning on the left more than we'd be winning on the right. Yeah. Walk it return. Um, he might as well go in your Odin deck. Yep. Seriously, 33 points off a level up. <laughs> yeah, so if, you, if you look at your Odin deck, I know we're playing the Spectrum anyway, but if you look at Odin, he's a non-reveal guy. Mm. Um, oh, maybe not actually, because we don't have that many. Maybe he's, is he better than Nightcrawler? Maybe he's not actually. <laughs> If I play the card here, not, plus two. Uh, yeah, he could go. He could go in it, but I don't know. I don't know. Predates and you're close to Gamora. Yeah. Tasty. Right. Like Gamora. Gamora is the fun card. I know what I say is mechanically the same as like all the other ones, but I think because it's bigger, it's more swingy, so it's more exciting. Mm. And also because mm. it's a later game. It's easier to predict where people are playing because you know more of the borders fill up. Like trying to play Rocket Raccoon, like right now it's just a one in three. Yeah. If you if you if like say if you're saying you're playing Hawkeye, I'm sorry, Rocket instead of Hawkeye right now. To get what to get Rocket Raccoon's ability off it, you just you know you've got one in three chance. Yeah. But you could be really lucky, like your opponent, and get it. <laughs> but if you're me, you'd never go it. So. Yeah. <laughs> Right. Lost the game to an opponent who got two one of three chances in a row against me to win. <laughs> very, very annoying. Mm. Yeah, I'm a skank. I don't think Emily's going to put. Why are we not playing on Hawkeye again? Because I made a mistake. <laughs> At least I looked up with us. I mean, it's it's the same, really. It's not it's not a net loss all game, but yeah. No. Um. Not sure. I bet if one drops on the left, I reckon. But both of them jank. Yeah, you can always move Nightcrawler, remember? So. Oh, yeah. Asteroids are really annoying, though, as well, because it drags your 3 or 4 drops. Yeah. Um, so if it's full, it means it isn't going to drag everything as much. They are good. But it seems like we don't fill up too quick. Yeah, but no, but it doesn't. No, it means if you do fill it up, then it's fine. Because like, say so now, if you put if you put thing anywhere, actually, maybe not in this case because dark dimension hides it. But ignore dark dimension. Say it's something else. If you put thing down, it would get dragged over to asteroid M right now. That's how that yeah. location works. Um, I know we'd actually just put thing in asteroid M right now. <laughs> so, yeah. I know you'll like be losing that right now, but oh no, you won't. You'll be you'll be you'll be winning actually because um, Ant Man will or Brock. Or tying it, I guess. No, losing it, no. Losing it one, yep. Um. Um. <sighs> Sounds like a bit punishing. The Nightcrawler. I don't know, up to you. Yeah, what? Sorry. Um, I was going to pull up a punisher done in the right. No. Actually, if I move Nightcrawler in the middle. And then put Punisher on the right. 
Why that's still least... cooler to put the down over there. To... Oh, stuck. <laughs> Let me move it again. Okay, I'll... It will let you move, it's just you've, play, you've done the play afterwards. You have to undo your plays in order. Oh. Okay, order that's another that. Game. Right. <laughs> the Punisher would have been better mid. <laughs> yeah. Aye. I don't know. Um. Right, well... 11 to play with, so you can play all your cards. I play yep. Iron Man middle is going to be winning you that lane. So put Iron Man, so Iron Man left. Why do I say middle? Iron Man left. Left. Fantastic middle. Um, yeah, fantastic middle. And then I think, let's think this through. They play something on the, oh, they're going to play multiple things anyway. Yeah. I don't know if it matters where Shocker is. There's probably a lot of decisions to make there. Like at the moment you're tied, but then like they could put something there. Yeah. They're quite likely to play right anyway because they've got Angela. I'd play a, I would probably play a mid, yeah, I think. No. I think I might lose this, but we'll see what happens. Yep. Okay. I didn't. What series is America Chavez in? And I didn't know you'd get her yet. <laughs> <laughs> He's a very common card to see, like at my level. But like, uh, what's that? Right. Um. We'll make us. Oh, pull one. Okay. Eh. Uh... Scare can say he's lost to try the game, but get lost with card games. No, I was trying to get out with magic. Magic seems. Magic, I think, is a bit more involved in this, I'd say. Aye, I'd say magic's a bit more involved in Snap. Magic is far more complicated in this game, yeah. Yeah. But Gerkin, I think magic you should get us a goal. Magic is a lot more of a mess because it's the oldest training card game. Uh. So. Even though it's changed over time, it's a lot more of a mess. Like, also, so digital card games also like do a lot of the working out for you. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you're not happy. Like, you want to do mental maths, but you don't have to do maths. Whereas, like, you know, <laughs> you have to do maths when you're playing a card game in real life. Um. Also, like, you know, Magic has like on the spot interactions, which is is it's one of the things I. <clears throat> Excuse me. Everything I could say that's really good about Magic is technically a negative as well because it's, it's normally like a complexity, you know. Aye. So, um, and it's hard to keep up with it than this. This game, one new card comes out a week. Really? It's quite often, but it's literally just one new card. That's it. That's not yeah, too one bad. One new card a week. It's teeny idiot. Oh yeah. I would assume that like. A lot of people play Magic have ADHD. <laughs> <laughs> right, I think I'll make this one the last online game, and then we'll do a friendly to finish off if you like. Well, you can't play a friendly if you're not online anymore. What? You just said we'll make this the last online game. Yeah, the last. Um... If you're not online anymore, you can't play games. <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> I mean, okay, uh, but it also, you know, doesn't mean you should just say things wrong. <laughs> I'll do this last versus randoms, and then we'll do a friendly. That better. <laughs> uh, they have the good kind. Me, I just make things <laughs> felt art at the moment. How is the felt art going? I 
I don't know if they realise what they've just given you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I would snap. I would snap. As this, they've given you a nine. I don't know if they realise they've done that. Yeah. Um, play Hawkeye mid. Yeah. I just don't want to play it in the right because then that will give them one as well. Yeah, and play. No, oh, maybe not. Maybe play Hawkeye left and Ironheart mid. Or whatever way around you want to do that. Just play Ironheart and Hawkeye in opposite yeah. things, I think. And then we'll, we'll probably play Odin in the Ironheart lane later. Yeah. We still friends. I mean, um, I've discovered that it doesn't matter if I'm speaking to him or I'm in chat. He doesn't listen to me, Fizzy, so. Yeah, true. <laughs> Oh, actually, no. you might want to play... Actually, no, it doesn't matter. I was going to say, this is the... Jessica Jones is, like, the one card you might actually want it to play in Mojo. Um, Sorry, Machine World. Because if they get it, it's too late for it to get the power. But the problem is, she's not going to be big enough to beat the 1-9 uh, Hawkeye anyway, so... Yeah. Uh, I would play White Tiger mid, and then we're going to Odin mid, and then we're going to win. Let's hope. We don't need the plus three on Hawkeye. They already gave us a one nine. <laughs> <laughs> Avengers, assemble. Oh, maybe we're not gonna win. Nah, we should do. We we play Odin mid, and then we're on thirteen, and then eight on the side, and either. Einhart has to... Oh. This is not as guaranteed as I thought it would be, then. Right. I can't believe Captain America's actually been a good play, though. <laughs> this is still your best play. Yeah. Right. We'll see what happens. It, basically, we've got RNG here because we need we need Ironheart to hit stuff in the middle. There we go. That's fine. We did it. Either we needed to, um, eight cubes there. we needed yep. Reinhardt to either hit in the middle or them to not play something on the on the right. And if they did not play something on the right, for her to hit one of the tig the tiger that went on the right. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> that's how we needed it. But um... Um, right. I would say before we move on, go to the shop a minute. Yep. And scroll down. A Captain America bundle is good, by the way, if you want to spend three pounds. Um, <laughs> scroll down. Into the how do we have this? Come, I don't get that. I was seven thousand five hundred dice slides. Uh, scroll down to that uh, upgrade quick bit. That's what I'm trying to tell you to go to. Oh yeah. Uh, Pretoria, cheers for that, you sub pal. How are you doing? <laughs> Um, here you go, you can upgrade your Hawkeye so that you've got the blue border and you get the, um... Because I was thinking you've got easily enough credits, just you don't have boosters, but that's what that upgrade fast thing does. Aye. Looks pretty cool for you, actually. There we go. Oh, credits. I thought we were jumping up to Mystery Card there. Not yet, but, um, now you've got... Your Season Pass mission should be done. Yep. Yeah. Seriously? So, oh, the actual state of that? 999 out of 1000. <laughs> oh no. That's it. We've got Gamora now though. That's cool. Yeah. Plus yeah. 5. That's nice. Yeah, so she's a 512 if it goes off right. So she's as big as Hulk but costs less as long as you guess where your opponent's playing. <laughs> this is a weird looking zero escape. Yeah. Aye. We're throwing in cards this time. <laughs> it's finally escaped, it's why. <laughs> I finally it escaped, me, but still... Sad, but more sad than anybody that there's no more zero escape to play. <laughs> so I was going to say, I've, I have escaped, but still annoying Sai. Still not listening properly. So it feels like a zero escape game. Exactly, yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> um... So annoying. If you win one more match voting, you would go up one more level on um, recruit seat. I can't. <laughs> uh, we'll get. We'll get us a goal. Say, um, what? Um, I was. What are you? 
What are you playing on Sundays from now on? Uh, for just now, it's going to be Final Fantasy. Until I get uh, through all my horror games. Uh, really? Uh, yep. <laughs> Boring. <laughs> I can't be having fun on Sundays. Mm. Well, it's until just until I finish my horror games, and then I'll figure out scheduling and stuff. Uh, aye. Well, well, actually, isn't somebody? Is nobody? Is, some, is that what was picked? Don't people pick? Yeah, that aye. That was picked? Yep. Who is picking? Because what you want? You'll be playing Final Fantasy Three next as well, right? Yeah. Um, but that's only because. Well, Crash picked Final Fantasy, but I've, but I've got a deck of Final Fantasy cards, and I've shuffled them, and then just told me to pick a number, and then counted them out, and it happened to land on Final Fantasy 3. But it also, also means... Uh, you want to play Sentinel? Yeah. Aye. Um, it also means what? That we're uh, all going to fall asleep and play another <laughs> one of these fucking old fun of fact. That... No, it means that. One as well. Aye, that's my point. Once it's done, it's away. Don't need to worry about it. But do you know it's not going to be sitting there. Easily, more easily away. It's, it's, it's not play it. While I'm here. Yeah, not play it. Aye. It's the quickest way for it to be away is to never play it. But that defeats the point <laughs> of playing through all of them, doesn't it? Um... Well, I mean. Oh, plus one. Yeah, what about that? Where is it? I want X Mansions. Give us something good. That's going to be a Damn it. Yeah. What have we got though? Mm. Mm. Kind of crap. That's the bad. Right now. I mean, it's kind of crap. It's just like oh, they, they best side. The, they, they won the yeah. expansion role. Yeah. No, it doesn't eat all their cards. The other side, that that'd be broken. I mean, that'd be too. Be yeah, too broken. <laughs> all the cards on the opposite side and gets bigger. That'd be yeah. The most broken card in the game by a country mile. <laughs> <laughs> um. um. Does that happen for? It's on reveal. Oh, it's just, just set up on reveal. Funny... Actually, set up a funny Odin play later where Odin gets eaten by Venom, which would be cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'd, and I probably would set something like that, but you probably want Ironheart to Odin later. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Probably just, just... Ironheart middle for the moment. Yeah. Check out that rocks. Those rocks are two twos now. Sick. It's not too bad. Uh, I suppose fantastic medal there. Um, I don't actually know because you're gonna want to own a middle and then fantastic will get eaten. So it doesn't matter. You don't. You mm. probably want to play your two other guys like one. Um, actually no. Do you? Yeah, you probably want to play Colossus left and Sentinel right, I think. Or both. Or both right. No, that's probably, that's probably fine. No. With an Odin mid. Yep. I'd snap if I was you. I don't think you can lose this now. We'll see. <laughs> But they think you can. Right. Maybe. So. Oh, it's a middle. See what happens. I would put Nightcrawler in the middle as well. Oh, end of turn. Yeah. The end of turn. Yep. I keep forgetting I, I can move Nightcrawler. It takes some time. And then, uh. Alright, <laughs> other times just instant. And then sometimes you instantly do that. I say don't do that. Yeah. <laughs> That's why they lost that anyway. 
Yeah. That's fine. Dick, got a Gamora picture. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Worth it. Right. So you do a wee friendly round off the stream? If you want, yeah. Um, I will uh, leave the call, I guess. Well, well aye, because that would know, be... You might as well just stop sharing. Let's oh, uh... talk to you still, and we'll just... but I'll stop sharing the screen, obviously. Oh, yeah, I can stop. No, well. Let's also stay on the call. You just have to trust me that I'm... You just have to trust that I'm not watching the stream. Well, there's still a stream delay, so... Oh, uh, wait, yeah. wait, wait, cancel that. Um... What deck should they play? What do you want to see? <laughs> <laughs> Tile it up to you. I'll something... I'll play... So I play something... Really f silly? Or, f or what? Or whatever you you're feeling. No, whatever you're feeling. Let's play this. Okay. Um, Are you setting up the game? Yeah. I'm trying to. Just go to create, isn't it? And that's it. And you give me a code. No, I believe. Bloody torpedo. I don't know. It just threw me in a match, though. Well, you must have clicked. <laughs> you must have clicked join or something. No, I click. Yeah, I'm gonna watch the stream two seconds. Like friendly battle, create. Right, now it's generating code six nine three seven three. Oh, sorry. I started watching the stream for a second, and you did join a game randomly. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> sorry. What's the code? Uh, six, six nine three nine, seven three. Three seven three. <laughs> okay, um, so one thing we didn't get to do actually uh, was play Conquest, right? Oh, I actually never got that far. And and this is how this this works. So we've both got a life bar in life, I believe. I think it's ten. Yeah. Um, they are based on cubes, so it isn't just like a best of three or whatever like that. It's like games of Snap. Um, yeah. So we play and we can retreat, but obviously we keep the same deck the entire time. Once you get to the fifth game, if you are playing that long, it bec I think it's fifth. Maybe it's even earlier than that. Um, it becomes uh, double. Basically, it's always doubled. Like it's always snapped essentially. Like for you. Yeah. Um. Meaning the games hopefully will you know go over quicker, but also means if you're losing by a lot, it gives you a, a better chance to come back quicker. Okay. Oh no, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to actually play some cards now. <laughs> yep. Because I've been not playing cards for the for most of this game. Because of uh <laughs> So I was playing Agatha Harkness who um controls my deck for me. <laughs> <laughs> but um She got discarded by Lady Sif. Ah uh, see. Very good. <laughs> Is Mick gonna stay? Is Mick gonna retreat? Who knows? Is nah. Gonna snap? Who's staying? It's just a game, seriously. What are you saying seriously about? That card. 
end of the game, move to a location that wins oh. you the game. Aye. I mean, what I want to know is why you didn't put Kazar in the middle. Like, you're playing oh. Kazar, I think, I guess, right? I don't, oh. I, don't, I don't know which deck you're playing. Are you playing the Spectrum? I can't remember which one you're playing. I can't even no, play. I guess the Spectrum play, one. Let's play another one of my ink cards. So, um, another thing that we haven't done, as you might notice, is that there's some weird effects on some of my cards. Yeah. The further you go after a while, infinite is like the last frame you get, as you can see on Agatha. Um, you get what they we call splits. It's like you get a new version of the card starting at the beginning again, but it will have like a foil type effect on it. Yeah. And then the more often you do that, then you start getting fancier effects. Oh! Is that going to beat me? No, it's not. Wait, it is. Have I lost? <laughs> yes! Yep, lost. looks like it. <laughs> um, it is the Spectrum deck. Um, you can, um, I shouldn't. I, do you know what? I could have played a much better card than Captain America Chavez, but I wanted to play her because she's inked and got the Kirby Crackle. Do you see that? The cool red crackle. Ooh, yeah, that is cool. She looks fancy. Good damn it. Is this replay another side? Yeah. Breaking news. Got the thing in hand. Mm. I hope you took my Hack of Harkness and then you don't get to play. <laughs> I hope that's what it gave you. <laughs> no, no, it was a different one. <laughs> oh, sorry. Agatha, don't play Domino there. You, you dumbass. <clears throat> yeah, it's not the worst. Very little trash talk or anything, man. Ah, uh, some <laughs> proper, proper concentrating. All systems go. I lost this again. I think I've lost. I don't know. Yeah, I think I've lost. Uh, mm. Nah. I mm. Lost yeah. again. <laughs> why does she. If she went right, why not go 28 and then I'm 15? Oh, you went know. the tiebreaker, that's why. I don't know why she didn't move right. Hmm. Yeah, I would have lost the tiebreaker anyway. Fuck's sake, Agatha, come on. <laughs> You've obviously taught me too well. If you're playing a deck where I get to control more of what happens, then I might be. <laughs> <laughs> Can you hear the fireworks coming through my microphone? No, I'm not hearing them. Alright, there's, there's <laughs> people setting off fireworks because you know. 
the 20 whatever of October. Oh, I mean, why not? A famous state that we all set off our firework. Which call in your hand. Yep. Uh, I am Iron Man. I don't know why I didn't snap. Oh. I tell you why, I've got a fear. <laughs> it's because of lofty rounds, I'm like, oh no. No, you're not like this one. Got him. I think it's fair to you've won this one. I'm not sad. Nah. Uh, um. <laughs> Uh, you don't seem that certain that you've lost because you would have retreated. Oh, uh, oh yeah. But I'll just see the game straight at the end. Yep. <laughs> you play Spectrum on the left, you would have. Uh... No, you wouldn't have won. No. Oh, yeah, you would have won, wouldn't you? No, he would have. No, I would have been this high. Oh, for that side. Yeah, no, I mean the game. Doop, 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 doop. Turn one, I don't no. need to do anything. 
So it's a sailor then. Not necessarily. How is this the decider? I thought whoever loses this. this. I thought whoever lost this would be a uh, health. Well, if you look at the screen, it says if you lose two more health, they will be down to two. Somebody could retreat. All right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Use eyes? We're playing the same game. <laughs> I thought it was losing. I thought it was losing four for these loss. No, the red is showing what is, the red is showing how much you potentially can lose. Right. Okay. I'm with you now. Because we could lose two this game. Yeah. I've got absolutely screwed by subterranean. By the way, <laughs> <laughs> fuck off, it mate. Maga decided to play a rock. <laughs> oh no. I mean... I'm getting to make less turns this game than I normally do. I should probably retreat. See what this. Let's see what happens with this. I guess. Well, I could easily mess this up. Iron Lad could do something good. Yeah, that's useful. There we go. Okay, got rid of Agatha. I played a rock here for a laugh, and now I shouldn't have done. <laughs> okay, I've lost the left side. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Just saying what to do that, but... Uh, <laughs> I have to, uh... Imagine you have Spectrum, and even if you don't, I have to just play as if you do, I think. And <laughs> I would lose if you did. It's annoying now, because now I can't snip. <laughs> I have to beat you twice in a row, you've only got to beat... Uh, twice, you can only got to beat me once. Yeah. Oh, Sakaar could be very good for me. Got him. Oh, damn it. It wasn't <laughs> even me. I don't want to put Domino middle. Oh, it's not really one was because from Sakaar, but it's not the worst. No. Could be worse. Oh, that's bad, though. God damn it. Oh, okay. Oh, this is really bad. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've definitely lost. Uh, I have to play this one out because we'll see if I retreat or lose anyway. Oh, okay. You're deciding to play stuff still. Is this even useful? Is this even good? Mm. I don't know if this is even useful. So annoying. The collapsed mine of Agatha, so annoying. <laughs> I am Iron Man. Uh... Is there literally anything I can do? I think I've lost. Congratulations. I am Iron Man. <sighs> Congratulations. Oh. <laughs> That's my good debit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised you carried on playing stuff out, but I guess you know that I'm gonna. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if you've read what that does, but like, if you decide to just pass your turn, then it gets rid of the rocks Aye. on your side. But you're already Aye, in well, location, it's... and, Ag and Agatha never doesn't do anything. She'll always play cards. Aye. So that's and what I was like. 
Like, so I don't know what I was get. I don't know what I was skipping and getting rid of them if I was winning it. If you were winning it, then I might have considered it. But I'm like, well, could just leave it. And... Well, um, I lost. <laughs> there you go. You beat me slash Agatha. Yep. Oh, well, you shouldn't have taught us so well, and I might have lost. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, oh, thank you so much for doing that. Oh, that was a good laugh. I really enjoyed that. Is Rossi not around? He's not around. Mm. He's challenging you. Has he gone? He's probably gone, isn't he? That's because that's because me watching to be like, nah, I can't. I can't be dealing with this. Need to, need to duck it. <laughs> I'll get him later. Though, don't worry. He's just too powerful. This mix in thirty six gun. Exactly. That's it. <laughs> See, he's 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 rank sixteen. Yep. Like 16 already. Level 25 in the collections. That's not much though. Mm. Bye. Right, well, I hope that was a fun little experiment for a Sunday stream, anyway. Yeah, I enjoyed that. At least did more stuff like that. Um, you've got it downloaded on your phone and ready to play in the future. I will be doing that. Because it's, it's cross save, isn't it? So should we just keep going? Yeah, yeah, it's cross, cross progression. So, uh, the. I, I, the only reason I don't really play on the, um, I mean, it's easier to play on the phone, obviously, because you know it's on your phone. But weirdly, this game like makes my laptop very hot. <laughs> <laughs> I can play like I can play much more like modern and oh, this game's pretty modern. Much more like you know games that look like a lot more going on. But this game, I don't know, like it's just according to how it's optimized or something. But it makes my my laptop quite hot, which is really weird. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's cross-platform, so yeah, cross-platform, cross-progression, uh, cross etc, etc, so you just have your own login. If you go, if you look on, oh god, where is it on your thing? If you click on the cog? Uh, I've logged in with my uh, Google, so I won't scroll down just in case it shows uh, the email address. Yeah, yeah, but because I sometimes, in some stuff, it will ask you for your, um, your, what do they call it? You have a snap ID as well. Right. Uh, not saying you want to do that on stream necessarily, but if you look on the cog in the settings, there's a snap ID that you can tap to reveal. Yeah. Because um, there are other, like, there is a website that they have where you can gain um, more stuff as well. So sometimes if a game asks you to, if, you know, to make sure it's the same person or whatever, it does that. Yeah. Um, and yeah, obviously, good good to play on the phone. As you, as you can see, you've already played quite a lot of games. Yeah. You know, no, three hours worth. <laughs> in space of, yeah, I mean, yeah, that's I think three hours, and you've played, but you've played for like dozens of games, right? Yeah. So it's easy to get one game in between things. Aye, aye, easily. Like, I, I like, I end up playing this while cooking dinner sometimes. There's a bit of dinner where you've just got to like wait for pasta to boil or something. <laughs> aye. Whip my phone out, play a quick game. <laughs> Go back to stirring the pot or whatever, you know. Like, if there's something I don't need to do, it's, it's very good. And it's. But it like you know, and I know loads of mobile games like that. But like, I don't. Know, I feel like you're progressing to something in this. So, uh, there's always something to unlock and a like a it's like, daily yeah, goal to walk towards. Enough daily things, or hopefully going up in the ranks, or you know, even if you're not, you're gaining some boosters to upgrade cars later or whatever. Yeah, you know, you're always doing something. So it's um, I like it. Good game. Good game. This. Yes. It's good enough. Right, well, thank you for having me on your stream. Thank you for being on it. I mean, I'm always here anyway, but... Oh, well, I, uh, I, but now you're on, on. <laughs> it's like the voice is coming through. That <laughs> face. Thankfully for everybody. <laughs> I could have turned on the camera. Actually, although well, right now, as I, I still haven't turned the light on, and it's pitch black. <laughs> <laughs> so you'd see this, like, spooky version of me... Um, with the laptop lights, the light of the laptop against my face, and that's about it. That's all you'd see. <laughs> but I can get it downloaded. I really get it downloaded. Yeah, give it a go, Gherkin, yeah. As I mean, it's free to play anyway. There's, um, like I say, that the shop has, like any of these things, some like horrifically overpriced cosmetic stuff that people oh, right. buy because they're silly. I've spent money on this game. It's usually, um, just because I get the season pass each each month, but I play this game like every day a lot. So, yeah. it's it's for a season pass on the game every month for tenor is quite a lot. But 
I don't know, I pay that much for Netflix and I don't watch Netflix anywhere near as much as I play Marvel Snap, so, you know, I feel like it's quite easy to justify. And then I'd also buy Fine. bundles like that, like that Cap America bundle I bought that because it's only three quid. Yeah. I've bought some other bundles in the past when they're like a fiver or whatever, but even so, that Magic's Birthday Party one, which is probably a good value, but I wouldn't buy it's 15 quid. <laughs> that's too much. Uh, that's, that's quite a bit for our card. You can get all that other stuff, but... Get, um, like, loads of credits, if you want. <laughs> Which I guess some people do, because they just jump in, and they're like, I want to get deep into this right now, so I'll just put 100 quid in now, and then, you know, get really far, but I can't do that. No. But yeah. No, I can just say that. Like I said, like, it's a shame that Captain America is crap, but like, the, the card art is good, and the, the gold you get for the money is good, so... Yeah. I think that the, the, recently they had a... Um, the Marvel Snap's birthday thing, which was, like, a fiver... You got like 15 quid's worth of gold and you got like a Deadpool variant and stuff. Yeah. That that was alright. I'll put money in the occasion like that. But um yeah. No. But they've got their wells, like every mobile game. There's people that will buy any of those but they'll be like, ooh, nice art and then spend <laughs> twenty quid to get a digital picture. It's like It's nice. Yeah. It is a nice digital picture. Oh Not for, one thing mm, actually, if you go in the shop. I'm telling yep. you this, and obviously you're on delay. So if you go in the shop and you go, oh no, wait, it might not even be there for you. Go, go, sorry, go to the, go to. The oh, you probably have. It's a problem with the delay. Does it have the um, thing where you can buy cards and it's got like nine of them, whatever that you can buy of gold? Mm. Oh, this is that the daily offer thing? I think they are. Yeah, the daily offer, and it's got like nine different art arts or whatever. Yeah, like variant arts. If you <laughs> click on them, obviously, Dory, you're not like buying stride. There's a little arrow thing to the right and left of them that you can like look what they look like with the different, um, yeah, you know, uh, through the different stages. But if you actually want to look at what, well, like, say, um, now I can see it, you've got like, um, Taco Hulk, for example, you can see what Taco Hulk looks like when he's infinite if you want by clicking on the uh, thing on the right. You'll get to see uh. what it looks like animated and 3D and whatever, which is nice they've done there because it means that, like, if you are spending money and you're like, what is animated because like for example in Taka hulk are basically nothing i don't think <laughs> it's not that cool but there's some cards that are like the animation's like really cool i think like that the dan hip ones are like usually like the eyes are glowing and stuff which is quite like quite cool like um yeah um that's quite cool yeah at least it does that i have Aye. jim lee cyclops is one i use i like jim lee's art so oh uh, these are quite good but yeah, I can see why people can sink loads of money into this, but I'm not rich or oh, stupid enough to do that. Same. It's a good thing not having a lot of money sometimes, so you can be tempted. Yeah. <laughs> but then, if you had a lot of money, then it wouldn't matter, so... Yeah, well, it's according to how much a lot is, I guess, isn't it? I is suppose. It? Yeah, I'll get everything, because I don't have no money. <laughs> no, not to worry about it. The prettiest deck in the world. <laughs> but then you'd find it less exciting, because you could just have everything. So. Yeah. Nice. It's, it's, it seems it seems much better not being able to afford anything. <laughs> right. I think I'm gonna start wrapping up now. And get some. We'll get some dinner on. Yes. Um, but again, I was saying goodbye. Then we like a bit more like when we practice. Well, t tested that this worked. <laughs> we're not speaking for ages. You know. <laughs> so about five minutes. I think we um, said bye. Yeah, uh, actually, thank bye you, three or four times that night. Thank you for <laughs> Yes, we did, yeah. Thank you for having me on the stream. Thank you for trying out Snap and like listening to me for a laugh. Yeah. Um, thank you for finishing Zero Escape Trilogy because I bloody love that <laughs> game. And so many people look at those games and go, uh, visual novels, or they go, uh, puzzles, and they don't want to do it. Nah, you they're missing it. Very they're missing it. In the, for, yeah, what is one of the greatest series of all times, I think. Definitely. Um, yeah, thank you for everybody in chat that was here interacting and listening to this nonsense as well. And <laughs> putting up with my voice as well as my text this time. Um, and yeah, I'm going to leave the corner. Good. Bye, everybody. <laughs> Talk to you later. Right. Well, I suppose we'll head over to this one. Has it updated? Yes, it has. Right. Uh, actually, how do I even exit? There we go. That was that was weird. Everything everything froze for a second there. Should I get a bit chinned up? Uh...
Where's the chin? Where's the chin? Ah, stick that one. There we go. Well, that came up. Assassin's Creed did, but that'll probably get silenced. You can't hear anything because the music's so low. Whoa, that's really loud. There we go. That's better. Can't believe a guy lost to make a few seconds in the tank. I know. Like, no, I don't know how it happened, but it happened. So it's probably beginner's luck, to be fair. Eh, uh, but thank you for being here. Even your headache went away. See? Monica, that's all you need. That's all you need is this stream. Um. Bye. These streams, there you go, these streams are healing. Like, that's it actually confirmed. Thanks to Monica. Voice is curing bellies, apparently. Maybe it's a joint effort in mine and your voice, Si. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. That it's got healing abilities. Uh, let's see. So is anyone on? Boon. Look at what scheduled. Um, actually, I think it's me. It's on first tomorrow. Uh, no, no stream from Shinra. No, so not no one. No one else is on except for hmm. uh, me tomorrow. Uh, when is Signalis right? So, uh, give me a sec. And I'll pull up. I just need to see what games I've got left. Um, so I've got. Oh my god! Excuse me. Uh, so doing Mad Father on. The Tuesday and the Thursday. I think that will last Tuesday and Thursday. Nightmare of Decay and Endoparasitic should be done in one go, like for each. And then Killer Frequency might take a couple. Then after them, it will be Signalis. Signalis is, will definitely be happening. Uh, I just all the wrong stuff. Um, so yeah, after those three. So we've got the four to get through. We might actually get through them quicker than I'm planning. But yeah, I know, I know what you meant. Sign... 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 Sign lays. <laughs> Again, he's playing Signalis in November, Spook Season will have ended. Yeah, it's still... It's going to be dark. So... That's still Spooky Season, isn't it? Kinda. <clears throat> eh... You can the Sea of Pals with Superpowers. You absolutely do. And yep, Mad Father will be on Tuesday, but before that, we will be starting with Elf Hats 3. I have the wheel uh, for random names. I don't know. That's still there. So I'd name an FF wheel and we'll name the four, char four characters. I think there's six on that screen, but I'm pretty sure there's four. But whoever we name, uh, the name will get picked for that wheel. So don't even need to remember though. The real names. Just think, ah. Should have made a signalis to Sunday game. <laughs> Alright, it's just until it's Final Fantasy until we get through the uh, horror games, just so we can actually get through them. Final Fantasy P more like. Once it's done, that's it. It shouldn't take too long to get through. Just need to remind myself about everything. I can't remember what the leveling system is like for this, so we might be able to level. A lot easier, maybe. Anyway, I'm gonna stop wrapping on. Um, so no one's on. I'm on next tomorrow. So, uh, do you know what we can do? We can go and see Gem. We have not seen Gemma in a while. So let's go see. Oh, oh, uh, place. Yep. Let's go see Gem play some Dead by Daylight. It's actually pretty good. I enjoyed Dead by Daylight enjoy it more if I was better at it but here we are but yeah that is it for me thank you massive massive thank you again Sai. yeah that's massively appreciated that you took time to do that and I'm looking forward to getting stuck into more Marvel Snap to be honest uh, Mikey thank you again for the raid Protomia thank you again for the resub absolute gem but yeah thank you all for being here 
we are going to see Gem. I'll be back here, 9 in the morning, just over 12 hours, to start your week. Kind of start your week, start your week for some, you know, continue it from lunchtime for the others. I think this was perfect. Oh, I absolutely, in real life. We'll see each other in real life soon, don't you worry. Bye for now, I'm going to go, I'm going to grab some dinner. I will hopefully see you tomorrow. What's in Final Fantasy P, as Sai likes to call it. Make sure Cersei can be on screen. That's appreciated. <laughs> Bye for now. Hopefully I will see you tomorrow. Yeah, hopefully I see you tomorrow. Until then, take care. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday. And I will catch you all in the next one. See you later.